WTOB 9 is proud to present the OVAC High School Football Game of the Week. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Wintersville, Ohio, at Kettlewell Stadium on the campus of Indian Creek High School for tonight. WTOB 9 High School Football Game of the Week between Indian Creek and Buckeye Local. I'm Bill Phillips, along with the coach, Ray Sarkosh, and coach. Both of these teams come in off of opening week wins, both sky high. Well, no doubt about it. Uh, both coaches feel their teams are ready to play. Both real happy with where they're at right now. It'll be a good football game. Uh, Buckeye Local is going to have to defend Indian Creek on the perimeter. Indian Creek is going to have to shut down Buckeye Local's offensive ground game. A couple of question marks for the Redskins. Burge and Stacy, their quarterback and wide receiver, both a little banged up. We'll find out if they will go right after kickoff. We're back with that right after this. <laughs> I enjoyed it here. YSU helped me realize my goal. We were encouraged to do a lot of hands-on stuff and we got personal attention. Youngstown State gave me a great start. You may want to study the stars or teach or write music or be an engineer or make a career in business. To accomplish your goal, you need a solid education. YSU can give you that. Launch your career at YSU. Call 1-800-336-9YSU. Forrester's Nursing Home in Wintersville salutes the players, cheerleaders, band members, and coaches that keep the creek rising. For information on nursing home care, call 264-7788. The Hillsborough Tavern, McClister Avenue, Mingo. Stop in before or after the ball game. Famous fish every day. Daily luncheon and dinner specials. We're Frankens Auto Body, our unibody repair specialist, collision specialist. We have oven bag paint room, precision color matching, and we have quality work at reasonable prices. We say yes, yes we can. It's a simple word that everyone understands. We say yes every day. It's a three Hi, I'm Steve Gillardi, President of Advanced Financial Savings Bank. And I'm Mark Costanis, Vice President and Branch Manager. We are pleased to announce the location of our new branch. Look forward to us in spring 1998 in Winterville, Ohio. We are expanding to serve our community better. At Advanced Financial Savings Bank, we say yes to you. The leader. The name speaks for itself. At News 9, we work every day to live up to that phrase. And News 9 has been honored again as the leader in television news in Ohio and West Virginia. We work hard every day to bring you coverage you can count on. Only on News 9. Follow the leader. And welcome back to Kettlewell Stadium on Indian Creek campus on the opening kickoff. Joe Lucchino bringing it back for Indian Creek out across the 40-yard line to about the 41. Nice return. And, well, we had a question before the game. Would Rob Burge start? He injured a knee last week in uh, Indian Creek's first win of the season, game number one. He has a brace on the left knee, but he is going to start for Indian Creek. Joe Hammock, number one, along with... Lucchino and Boyack in the backfield. Gauzy in motion for Indian Creek. Sets up on the near side. Handoff Boyack across the 45, across midfield, and down to about the 45 of Buckeye Local. Big gain on first down, and it's going to go for a first down for Indian Creek. There's a look at your uh, offensive backfield. Burge, uh, fine quality quarterback. Boyack, Stacy, Lucchino, Lamatrice, and Gosney. Your backs and receivers on front. Donzilla, Jaeger, Vitello, Mack, and Muckle doing the blocking. Good size on the offensive line. And that was a concern for Tim Bain when I talked to him this week. Big guys up front for Indian Creek, coach. Nothing fancy on the first play. Blast off left tackle. Gaping hole for Boyack. Same play. Going right back to it. Same play, and he's going to spin ahead to about the 35, close to another first down at about the 40. Almost put the knee down, coach, but kept his balance, kept the legs driving, and spun ahead for a few more. First two offensive plays, Indian Creek offensive line getting major movement on the front. 
Buckeye locals have to pay attention to that right away. Rowe, Schultz, Watson, Nolan, the defensive line, linebackers. That's the group that's going to be busy tonight. Tansmore, McCain, Smith, Merkel, and your defensive backfield sets up that way. And we take a look at second down and about three for Indian Creek. Boyock again. They're going with the big guy, and he's down to about the 30-yard line, knifing through to make the tackle. Number 33 for Buckeye Local. That's Tim Merkel. He came through and made the stop. Nothing fancy, straight ahead blocking, one on one. There you see it, Gauze need a tight end, making a key block. Sealing off, lead up, up front there with Hammock, the running back. Indian Creek looks impressive, first three offensive plays. Steve Heath into the ball game as Hammock checks out. Hand off, Lucchino, he's across the 25, and he'll be out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. I'll bring up second down at about four, Coach. So a big gains on first down, and that's a win for any team when you can get four-plus on every down. No question about it. You can see on the replay here, getting a nice seal on the defensive end. Lucchino able to pop outside. Good run. Zolad, Sean Zolad's uh, making the stop along with the sideline timeout called for Buckeye Local with 10.26 to go in the first quarter. We take a look at what's coming up Saturday night at 11.30 after News 9 tonight. Caddis and Catholic Central game of the week number three. So uh, a lot of games uh, this weekend on WTOV9. And Coach, one question I have for you. I think a good timeout uh, called by Tim Bain is he has to have that defense regrouped and ready to go. No question. I'm sure Buckeye Local came in here sky high when you are. Sometimes you miss assignments. Indian Creek, good football team, took advantage of them. Had them back on their heels a little bit. Tim Bain, timeout, trying to get things together here. Buckeye Local needs a stop. Second and short yardage. Look for Coach Foran Sadly to go to the wide side, possibly throw the ball. It's one thing Indian Creek has not done yet. They haven't uh, had Burge really move left or right on that knee. It's been <laughs> the handoff, so uh, that knee yet to be tested for Rob Burge. And there's a good look at Slinging Sam. Sam Fornsaglio, head coach at Indian Creek, and he has done a great job with this program uh, that uh, has uh, really uh, taken off here in Wintersville as the community has gotten behind it. As the handoff goes to Lucchino, he's across the 20 and down to about the 17-yard line. He'll have a first down. Of course, Indian Creek, a consolidated school system, Mingo, Wintersville, and uh, when it first got started, some, pe some people pull in one direction, other people in different directions, but now everybody's going in the same direction, and it has taken off out here. Uh, no question about that. I think that's uh, solely due to uh, Coach Sam and the job he's done. His staff and the players have come together. I don't think the, the players have any problem. Uh, Coach Sam doing a good job. Got his, got his Indian Creek team on the roll here. Last play continued to go left. Little, little misdirection with Lucchino. Uh, obviously, Indian Creek likes, likes running the ball to the left against this Indian Creek. Unbalanced line that time. Well, they go right. Boy, to the outside. Steps out of one tackle. Maybe gets an extra yard out of it. On the tackle, number 44, Matt McCain for Buckeye Local. 9.45 to go in the first quarter. And Indian Creek doing the same thing. I came to the Indian Creek uh, game last week. And Coach, first possession of the game. Took the ball all the way down the field. Long drive. Ate up a lot of clock. Punched it in for the touch. Down. Then they stalled later on in the first and second quarters. But tonight, same type of situation. Nice ball control, working it down the field. You see Sammy stuck in a little formation there on the last play. There's unbalanced line right and ran behind it. Brian Duncan to the near side. Power eye formation to the right. Hand off, Hammock tries to get outside, and he won't get much, maybe a yard. McCain came in, number 44, knifing through quickly, but he got some help from the defensive line. Good pursuit by the Panthers on that one. No question, Buckeye Local need a big play there, third and five, third and six here. Easier to defend down here to pass if Sammy wants to go to it. If not, he's still gonna play power football here. Gosney to the far side. Duncan near side, Lakino in a wing to the near side. Burge looks to throw, looks in a flat, incomplete. Intended receiver was Duncan, and it'll bring up fourth and six for Indian Creek at the 12-yard line of Buckeye Local. I knew it was just a matter of time before Coach wanted to throw the ball a little bit. Um, he has a great offensive scheme, throwing the football. You can see he had three receivers out here. 
One on a vertical stretcher, sent the guy deep. Lucchino into the short, Lucchino into the flat, and the tight end on a little out. Three receivers out, flooded the uh, right side of Buckeye Local defense, and now Buckeye Local's defense is in position to make a stop here. Lucchino split to the far, or near side, Gosney tight end on the far side. Burge in the shotgun, and he is going to roll near side, sets up, swings it outside to Hammock. He won't get much. Well, he breaks the tackle and gets inside the 10. Won't have enough for the first down, and it will go over on downs to Buckeye Local. So a big defensive stop for the Panthers as Indian Creek is turned away. And an interesting thing, Coach, I was going to mention, Jeremy Stacy, one of the favorite receivers of Burge, not in the game on offense. It looks like he'll go out on defense. Little shotgun here, a semi-roll to the left. Quick screen. Wanted to get that back one-on-one. -on -one. Nice tackle by the second man there, Merkel. Hammock almost shook that uh, second tackle like he shook the first one to get the first down, but Buckeye Local on a nice defensive stand when they had to. Buckeye Local, as Barry Switzer when he was at Oklahoma, would like to say we hung 50 on him today, and last week that's what Buckeye Local did. A lot of points on the board, but on first down, Boyock from Indian Creek comes knifing through and just stops his man in his tracks. On the carry for Buckeye local, Chad McFadden, and Boyock said nothing doing on that one as we take a look at the offense for Buckeye local. VTech, McCain, Merkel, Bickerstaff, Zolads, and Schultz also in there as we just mentioned. McFadden, you'll see a lot of players in and out. A good offensive unit in terms of the line up front. Duck, Rusak, Benton, Filipovich, and Tansmore. Second down and long, VTech rolls, tucks it, looks to run. Boyock had a shot at him, gets away. McFarland takes a shot. I believe Donzilla got in there as well. As we take a look at the numbers, check that. Matt Gould, number 54, making the stop. But Boyock creating havoc right now on first and second down for Indian Creek. Let's take a look at the defense. And there's a look at Boyack, Heath, Jarman, and Morgan. Up front, defensive line, a good group of linebackers that'll rotate in. And also defensive backfield, very, very solid with Gosney, Stacy, and Vanderborn in the defensive backfield. Indian Creek doing an outstanding job defensively, first two plays. Buckeye Local is going to be three and out here. What a defensive stand, great effort. Matt McCain on the carry for Buckeye Local, short gain of about three yards. Still doesn't get back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll bring up fourth and a long 10, and Buckeye Local will look to punt the football away, and Indian Creek's fans are letting the defense know that they approve of their effort, and I'll tell you what, Coach, it's standing room only tonight. Buckeye Local, uh, the Panthers have a big sign draped across the far side, all of their seats full, standing room only. Great crowd on hand as VTech kicks it away. Good strong kick to about the 45. Aquino gets it, misses, makes one man miss. Gets a block across the 35, 30, 25, another block, puts it back at the 15, and he's finally driven out of bounds at the 10-yard line. On the stop, Tim Merkel along with VTech, the punter, but uh, Aquino Coming up with a nice run all the way back, Joe Lacchino. Nice job here. Field of the ball. Shook a tackle right here. Speed to the outside here. Nice block on the crackback. Second block. Nice run by Lucchino in the open field. Really, Indian Creek specialty teams really look good on that punt return. First and 10 from the 10. First and goal. Uh -oh. Birch drops the football, he drops on it, but he doesn't have control, and I think the Panthers get a big break. They get the football back, so after a huge return, the Redskins squander an opportunity, and Buckeye local has the football. Boy, that got to give you fits right there, Burge. I don't know whether the back kicked it out of his hand or he just lost the handle, but Buckeye local swarming to the football. Jason Dodged Rowe, the number 31 on the fumble recover for Buckeye Local. Dodged the bullet twice, Bill. Backs against the wall again. Indian Creek defense coming up big, let's see. How important to get a big drive here for the Panthers. 
On the carry on first down, Matt McCain. And maybe, Coach, not even a big drive. Just pick up a couple of first downs, give your defense a break, get a little rest so your offense can go to work, make Indian Creek work a little bit. I think the key is uh, what you're saying, Bill, on this good first down play. Buckeye Local has to move the sticks a couple times just to regroup mentally. Uh, that's the key. They played to get with their backs against the wall here early, dodge the bullet twice, and uh, they have to move the sticks. See what they do on the offensive line, second series here. First series, they didn't have no success. Hand off. First down, Buckeye Local across the 25-yard line. Bickerstaff on the carry, Brian number 45. Looks like they got a double team there on um, Boyock, a defensive tackle. And that's not surprising. You see Coach Bain sending his play in there. Little kick out block there by the guard. Into the secondary untouched. Good tackle. Gosney, I really like Gosney in the secondary. I think this kid's going to be a big time football player. Saliani on the uh, tackle for Indian Creek. First and 10 for Buckeye Local from the 27. VTech quick look on the slant. Threw in the triple coverage. Incomplete intended receiver Zolads, number 12. Incomplete second and 10. Indian Creek had it covered uh, defensively. They had a little blitz on there with uh, Taliani from his linebacker spot. You know, Bill, that's one thing I want to point out to you all the time. Uh, you could see the greatest thing about high school football, in my opinion, is generation after generation of kids play football. Uh, you can see these names out here, Don Zilla, Taliani, Gosney, all at one time, Wintersville Warriors. You know, all these kids, that's the best thing about high school football is, is the families playing. Vitek tucks and runs, spins, and he'll be close to the 35-yard line, but he's still going to be short of the first down by about four or five yards. So third and a long four, Coach. Look for them to keep it on the ground or go up top. Well, I know Coach Bain's attitude is the fact that he wants to throw the ball when he wants to throw it, not whenever he has to. So I look for him to run the ball here, play it close to the chest, don't take no chances, play field position on fourth down, punt it. 440 to go first quarter, inside handoff, and that's not going to be enough for the first down. Indian Creek has held, it'll bring up fourth down, and it'll bring on the punting unit for Buckeye Local, but I think for the Panthers, they did accomplish what they wanted to on that drive. They got a couple first, or they got a first down, moved the sticks and took up some time, give their defense a chance to take a break. No question, barring a uh, big uh, return here by Stacy or Lucchino, uh, Buckeye Local did themselves justice just getting out of the hole. But they're not out of it yet. Let's see what uh, Stacy or Lucchino does. Vitek, good, strong punt. Tail drag a little bit. Fair catch from Stacy at the 30-yard line. And that's where Indian Creek will take over first and 10. And we'll take our first time out of the night. 3.58 to go first quarter. It's nothing, nothing, nothing on the Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard. Autumn brings us high school football with all of its pageantry. But every touchdown and 12 baton brings us closer to cold, messy weather. No matter what the season brings, Schwartz Homes is committed to providing service, selection, and quality all inside the world's only climate-controlled indoor megastore. Practice makes perfect, and Schwartz scores big by being named the 1997 National Retailer of the Year. Come inside and see what it's all about. The Schwartz Homes Indoor Megastore, New Philadelphia. Treat that special person to their very own picture cake. Perfect for any occasion. It's sweet art, and it's only at Gus's Goodies. Don't talk about it. Do it. Check out Tech. Tech Prep. Dr. William S. Grant specializes in medical and surgical treatment of the foot and ankle. He and his staff will provide you with prompt, courteous, and gentle care. Why walk in pain? Come see Dr. Grant. He'll put some pride in your... Why is State Park Motors number one in the Ohio Valley? Having the largest selection and best prices on late model used cars, trucks, and vans certainly helps. But it's our people that make the difference. From our cleanup and detail department, attentive service and wholesale department members, and cheerful office staff, to our honest low-pressure sales team. Once you meet the people of State Park Motors, you'll know why we say, the more you know about buying a car, the more you'll want to know State Park Motors. Located just off Route 22 on Route 43 in Wintersville, Ohio.
Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard tonight. Buckeye Local and Indian Creek. That radar system is taking on a life of its own. Oh, Bill, you got to fight for your team, Bill. you got to get Sports Friday Boyak. scoreboard Boyak. next week. There we go. Oh, Boyak to the outside. Oh, running room. Gets a block. Inside of 45-40. Cuts back at the oh. 45. He could go all the way. Still on his feet. One man to beat. Boyak is going to get it in the end zone. Touchdown, Indian Creek. Coach, I'll tell you what, it's week two, but you might be able to put that one for one of the year. Well, I'll tell you something, Boyack really looks good running the football here. I think a couple Buckeye local defenders thought they had him pinned against the sideline. He made that quick cut back and caught him off guard. Nice seal there. Wow, nobody from Buckeye local there. What a job done by the Indian Creek offensive line. Nice cutback here at the 35. It had the angle. He was done. Beautiful cutback and outran. And at the end just showed how strong he really is. That kid's a stud. Extra point up and good. So Indian Creek jumps out on top on the Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard by a score of 70 to nothing on the 70-yard touchdown run from Dave Boyer. As he goes in for a touchdown, 7 to nothing Indian Creek over Buckeye Local here in the first quarter. And Coach, I'll tell you what, Indian Creek uh, has come out and really done the job offensively. And Buckeye Local right now has to be thinking, what hit us? Well, no question about it. I, I know that uh, Coach Bain didn't uh, expect his team to get manhandled like this early. But Indian Creek's really getting after him on the offensive line. And if Buckeye Local is going to make a game of it, they're going to have to respond here. You can see all down blocking here, double team at the point of attack. Lucchino double down on the defensive end. Stacy with a nice block in the secondary. That's what's going to free you in reality is the blocking in the secondary. And from here on out, it's Boyack. This is for the day for two from Duke. midnight. One, three, eight. You look at a guy like Boyack, you might think he's just going to try and run over the last two guys. Nice uh, move to cut it back inside. And then look at him dragging Vitek to the goal line as he just gets across. And right now the Buckeye local Panthers coach reeling a little bit and need to get something uh, generated offensively. Have to respond here. A big emotional game like this early in the year. Everybody's playing on emotions early. they got to respond. Short kickoff down to the 25-yard line. Some running room for the Panthers. Millard, Jeremy Millard, number 83 on the return for Buckeye Local. And that's where Buckeye Local will take over first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. And Buckeye Local has some work to do, Coach. Let's see if Coach Bain stays with his uh, running game here. I don't think he'll panic. Only takes one big play, as we just saw. I think he'll just get after it here. But Indian Creek's defense is swarming to the ball. Gould busting through. Taliani and Gosney. Good gang tag tackling with Chad uh, McFadden. Manages to pick up about four yards on first down. Second down and about six for uh, Buckeye Local. So I think if you're a Panther fan, you call that a win on first down. No question. Got to, got to continue to move the sticks here. Buckeye Local offensive line pulling both guards. Washington Redskin counter Trey. Gosney coming up from his secondary position. Nice tackle. Hand off inside and about three on second down on the carry. Matt McCain, number 44, out close to the 45-yard line. Bring him third and a long two. Third down about two. Will you all coming back in the game here? Looks like we have an equipment timeout, an official timeout down on the field. One of the Redskins having his face mask area looked at. Indian Creek, all their personnel back from last year at the skilled positions. Uh, Coach Von Sadler really looking for a big year, but just like we said at the beginning of the show where he really got this uh, Indian Creek football program going in a positive direction, I think you could say the same about Timmy uh, Bain. Uh, he realized he made some mistakes last year. He has a support administration down there. He really likes what he's doing with this program. 
He's got a solid freshman football team, good athletes down there. Chad Fagurski, a Vincey boy, a Pratty boy. I've seen them play uh, Big Reds freshmen. So I think Buckeye Local is going to be solid in the future. All they got to do this year is, is uh, be on the plus side of their schedule and wins and losses, I believe, for Coach Bain to get this thing on the roll. Matt Gould with some type of equipment problem. May have been a contact. It looked like the officials were looking at his eyes, so maybe a contact popped up. But he is ready to go, nevertheless. Third and two from the 44 for the Panthers. And they get Indian Creek to jump. Flag on the play. Were they drawn off or not? We'll get the call from the officials. Pointing at the left end for uh, Buckeye Lopal, number 34. That's who they was pointing at. It might have drawn him off sides. Looks like it did. Chuck Tascalinas, the referee from Wheeling. Big Chuck basketball official also. Well, that changes the complexion of the third down call, and this is something that uh, Coach Bain doesn't like to do. He wants to pass when he wants to, not when he has to. And right now, this may be a has-to yeah, situation. No third and eight from the 39. 2.25 to go first quarter. VTech looking to throw. Has some protection, looks, and he intends to pass for Matt McCain, number 44, but it goes incomplete. Pressure coming in from Joe Hammock. And it goes incomplete, and it'll bring up fourth down, so Buckeye Local have to kick the football away. Yeah, Buckeye Local, you can see on the replay, they had him sealed. All they needed was a block on Hammock for time, but he just ran through the offensive back and made a nice play. Good show of strength there by Joe Hammock. Good defensive pressure. Stacy Lucchino back deep at about the 20-yard line of Indian Creek. VTech to punt for Buckeye Local. Pressure, and he just gets it away. Gould laid out. It'll roll to a stop and be down at the 30-yard line. So Indian Creek takes over first and 10 from the 30. And we take a look at what's coming up on WTOV9 this weekend. We mentioned our game of the week tonight at 11.30. But coming up next on WTOV9, Notre Dame College Football. Georgia Tech and Notre Dame, they open up the new stadium, Coach, in South Bend, Indiana. It starts at 2.30 right here on WTOV9. So you can see the Fighting Irish and the Rambling Rank. Georgia Tech, the Yellow Jackets. Coach Davey Opener up there at Notre Dame. I remember him when he was coaching the Penguins at Youngstown State. Unbalanced line this way. Fares through to the near side. Wow, the that's 30. a... That's a an unbalanced Lugino line. And not, nothing doing there. Coming in quickly for Buckeye local number 34, John Schultz. And he came right through that unbalanced line, coach, and made the stop in the backfield. Loss of about five on the play, second and 15. You can see the end shift over there and really out formation in here, but you got to block down and you didn't. And defensive played by Buckeye Lopez busting through. And off Stacy in the line. Good second effort. Picks up about three to four on the play. It'll still bring up a long third down situation. Third and about 11. Call it third and 12 for Indian Creek from their own 29-yard line. You know, you got to wonder uh, how Stacy's leg feels. Uh, he's a tough kid. Uh, trying to play tonight. Little injury. Had it hobbled all week. Here you see Coach, Ka Coach Sam with his top aide, Steve Kowser. Boyack in a slot split to the far side along with Gosney. Burge is going to roll near side. Steps up, throws, hit when he throws, and it's a wobbler. Out of bounds and incomplete dunk in the intended receiver. And it'll bring up fourth down. Burge took a shot when he was hit. And it's incomplete. Burge comes off under his own power. Looks pretty good. Not showing many signs of, or, or any signs at this point of uh, the knee injury other than the brace. We should take a look at the replay. There's a sprint out Coach Ford sadly has been talking about. Birds looks pretty good on his knee. Setting up. Really didn't get the follow through. Buckeye Local had to defend it though. Jason Rowe with the pressure, number 31 for Buckeye Local. 48 seconds to go in this first quarter of play. End over end kick. It is going to bounce in. Man, is going to take an Indian Creek roll down inside the 30-yard line. So a generous roll for the Indian Creek punt team. Buckeye Local, though, is still good field position at the 30-yard line on the Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard. Indian Creek 7, Buckeye Local nothing. 
36 seconds to go. First quarter of play, Coach. 7 and I think in the first quarter really belonged offensively to Dave Boyock of uh, Indian Creek. Well over 100 yards already rushing. Very, very impressive running the football. Quick moving quarter. Uh, Might have been one penalty, maximum two. Big play, big play there by number 51. Tim Merkel on the carry, on the stop, Nick Donzilla. And I'll tell you what I, I like on that play. I don't know if we have a replay of it, but Donzilla was down on the ground, popped back up and was still able to make the play. I can have your attention, please. Any you, card there you go, right there, getting up, making a play. That's a football player right there. You get knocked down, you get up, you make the play. If you're parked there, you better move your car. They're going to start throwing immediately. VTech on the option, down the line. Close to first down yardage, and I think he has it as he gets across the 40-yard line. It should be a first down for Buckeye Local, so the Panthers pick up a first down as we hear the siren sound for the end of the first quarter. We'll take a timeout on the scoreboard after one quarter play. Indian Creek 7, Buckeye Local nothing. We're back with the second quarter right after this. I had two major shoulder surgeries in the big city. After finding both of them to be unsuccessful, I decided to stay locally with Dr. Capito. It's the best thing I ever did. Look out, John Elway. There's only one play I'd call for a sports injury. It'll work every time, six points. Good luck area teams from Water Transport, your number one bottled water company. Congratulations and good luck from all of us at Sterling's Auto Body. Once again, the people of the Ohio Valley voted Physical Therapy Associates best physical therapy in the area. We proudly accept the Reader's Choice Award and want to thank you for your confidence in us. When you need physical therapy, wouldn't you rather go to the best? Physical Therapy Associates, it's more than a hospital. More than a hospital for you. We're Allen Taylor Roofing, but don't let the name fool you. We're not just roofs. We're experts in making your home beautiful. Low monthly payments and your choice of plans. By the way, we still do roofs. Call today. Introducing the Storm Team 9 Neighborhood Weather Net. The Neighborhood Weather Net covers the Ohio Valley, giving Storm Team 9 meteorologists live weather information from your neighborhood. It can show you just how high the winds are and how much rain is coming. Plus, local schools can access our sites for use in the classroom. It's weather coverage you can count on from the Ohio Valley's 24-hour news and weather station. News 9, follow the leader. And welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. And there's the score, Coach. 7 or nothing, Indian Creek over Buckeye Local on the Super Doppler 9000. Now after the um, Boyock touchdown run, you tell me I may have said, and, and Dean Marini, our director, agrees with me. I may have said after the touchdown a few moments later that it was 70 nothing on a 7-yard run. That's impossible. Can't work that way. I'd never say that. 7 nothing. Got a little turn around, a little twisted around. Just an emotional individual. Well, you know, we're excited. It's, a, it's high school football That's season. Right. Two great teams. What, what it's all about right game. here. What it's all about. Uh, it's not about watching the officials throw the flags. But they have to do their job. And they do a good job of it. They do. It. you got to love them. Yeah. I'm sure you say that when you were down on the sidelines, when whatever sport it was, whether it was basketball, football, whatever. I'm sure you just said they do a super job. You got to love them. Always agreed with them. Always understood <laughs> the fact that I wasn't going to win any calls and just let it go and keep Very going. calmly discussed everything. Just keep coaching. Never raise your voice. Never. Keep coaching. Have a good time. Enjoy what you're doing. Panthers get a win on the penalty against Indian Creek. Pick up five yards. It's first down again as McCain carries. They're going to spot him ahead for about two yards. It'll bring him second down and about three for Buckeye Local as they have the ball across their own 45-yard line. Gould stepped up on this play from his linebacker spot and stuffed it. Nice job. 
Might have been Taliani underneath there on that play. Two good inside linebackers for Indian Creek. It's my old roommate from the Akron Zips, Keith Taliani and Lenny Taliani's son. Handoff inside. Oh. Running room for the Panthers and a first down across midfield and into Indian Creek territory. Merkel on the carry. Tim Merkel, number 33 for Buckeye Local. First down at the 44-yard line of Indian Creek. Better job up front here. Backside tackle crew on the kickout block. Good hold. Don't get touched till he's in the secondary. Gosney, nice tackle. Buckeye Local needs a couple more of them if they're going to be in this football game from an offensive standpoint. Hence Ross split to the far side. Option down the line, Merkel on the carry across the 40. He'd be close to a seven yard gain, Merkel. And VTech just got to the corner. He said, you take it, you've got some running room. Good play calling by the Buckeye local offensive staff over there. Had Indian Creek biting a little bit. Nice time to run an option to the short side. Take a look here at Merkel coach and uh, coming across. Getting in on the stop, number 34, Taliani. And as we take a look at another big run for the Buckeye local Panthers, so all of a sudden the Panthers starting to chew up the yards on the ground. Matt McCain, number 44, with the big run, and he has had a couple of big runs in this drive, and it's another first down for Buckeye local inside the 25 of Indian Creek. You see the holes opening up there. Good seal block, blocking down. Nice stiff arm. Good run. Last two plays, Buckeye Local's offensive backs weren't being hit until in the secondary. You know the line's doing the job. There's a misdirection. Baker staff up the middle into the secondary, and he is going to die for the goal line just short at the two-yard line. Gosney on the stop, but quickly, Buckeye Local with a quick hitter inside, and Bickerstaff goes for about 20 yards inside the five-yard line. Well, Coach Bain really miss mixing it up over there. A little misdirection play here. Had Indian Creek going one way. Little counter, little counter action here. Missed tackle with the line of scrimmage. Gosney saves a touchdown. Injured uh, Indian Creek player Dave Boyock down on the field. He's being attended to at the 20-yard line. And right in that replay, he's out of it right now. Yes, he is. He, he, uh, he got kicked. It looked like a foot came up, came up and caught him on the chin oh, as he boy. went for the tackle. Another foot came off from one of his teammates as they went for the tackle as Bickerstaff went through the hall and I think it clipped him on the chin because he is yes, answering he is. all kinds of phones and he's not sure what anyone's asking him you at this point. You hate to see this right here. You hate to see this. You're going to see him come through and dive and I think you won't see him go down but you'll see the foot come up. There's Boyock and there's the foot. By his own player. Yep. That's a shame. He is off to a great start in this game offensively and has made some tackles defensively. Hopefully, uh, for Dave, he is okay and he'll be able to get back in the ball game for Indian Creek. But uh, they are not going to take any chances with uh, Dave Boyock. And uh, as you can tell, he is not uh, feeling very good right now. He's in good hands out there with uh, Doc John Figgle and his staff. And I'm sure Doc Figgle will take care of him. And he'll be okay. Let's hope. Buckeye local threatening here. This is just what they need to respond to a very impressive Indian Creek opening drive. First and goal from the two-yard line. Handoff deep in the backfield, spinning for the goal line, and it is a touchdown, Buckeye local. Tim Merkel gets in, number 33. The arms went up. It's a touchdown and a one-point ball game here in the second quarter. See Tim Bain. He's motivating. He's got his program going the right direction. Boy, I tell you, talked to him before the game. He had me ready to play football, and that really takes something. Diving for the good goal lane. line. Good effort. Out. Good effort. Good effort. Ball across the goal line. Three parts of this now. The center, the hold, and the kick. Attempting the extra point for Buckeye local, Matt McCain, number 44. Snap on the ground, spot down, kick up, and it is good right through the middle. So after a quarter and two minutes, it is a 7-7 ball game on the Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard. Buckeye local in Indian Creek, 7-7 here at Kettlewell Field. Excuse me. Um, your chain looks a little bit dry. 
and your handlebars are a little bit out of line, too. Chrysler Corporation's best dealers, as judged by their customers, are called five-star dealers. And while you can't always tell when a kid's going to grow up to be one, sometimes you can. I'll have you in and out of here in half hour tops. Think about it. 80 years, same family, lower prices, better service. De novo. Walking is the most natural exercise. The more physically active you get, the more fit you become. The Jefferson County Health Department wants you to know that walking tones muscles, maintains cardiovascular health, prevents osteoporosis, reduces stress, increases energy levels, improves self-image, and helps lower blood pressure and cholesterol. Plus, walking is inexpensive, safe, and easy. Pick up a distance walking chart from the Jefferson County Health Department and take the road to health. Walk it! The high school football game of the week, Buckeye Local versus Indian Creek, is brought to you by Steel Valley Sports Medicine, Schwartz Homes, Kroger, Physical Therapy Associates, Jefferson County Health Department, Riley Heating and Cooling, and Advanced Financial Savings Bank. Oh, I know this is the second drug. There's one voice that almost everyone listens to. We have to find out how this affects the Ohio Valley's water supply. News 9's Jim Forbes. He's the voice of knowledge. And what would that do to the tax base in West Virginia? The voice of authority. If that checks out, we'd have to send it through to Columbus because that would be major. And the voice of understanding. And so it's an extraordinarily happy ending. News 9 with Jim Forbes, the most trusted voice in Ohio Valley Television News. And welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. I'm Bill Phillips along with the coach, Ray Suckosh. And coach, a recap of the scoring. Dave Boyack, a 70-yard touchdown run in the first quarter for Indian Creek. Extra point is good, 7-0. Second quarter, about two minutes in, Tim Merkel from two yards out after a nice drive by the Panthers. And we are tied at 7-7. And after last week's action, both teams played very well. This is the game we expected. No question. Both teams getting after each other defensively and determined to run the football offensively. And so far far both teams have been successful in their own way. McCain to kick off, short kick down to about the 26, Gosney on the return, he's across the 35 and out close to the 40, so good field position for Indian Creek. Well I think that's indicative right there the talent that Indian Creek has at the skill position when they can have a ball player to, with, of the caliber of Gosney up short to return the football. Checking into the ball game for Indian Creek, number 16, Brian Duncan. Also checking in, number 51, Donzilla. Nick Donzilla into the offensive line, and we will see what Indian Creek wants to do. If you keep it on the ground to start uh, this possession, or if they'll put it up top. Well, uh, sooner or later, there's no doubt in my mind, Coach Forsyth is going to open up the offense and, and throw everything but the kitchen sink at the, at the Panthers. Uh, he's a great offensive mind and a great football coach. Uh, one thing I've noticed here about Indian Creek, they don't look to me to have too many guys going both ways, and, and that may be uh, that may tell the tale in the fourth quarter. Coach Forsyth has a lot of uh, faith in his uh, football players when he has only two or three kids going both ways. He's talented. Stacy a tailback bird steps drops throws he has a man it's Duncan and it is caught after it was knocked down it is caught by Duncan good concentration from the receiver I think we're gonna have a face guarding penalty against Buckeye local but still a great catch coach no question no question here you can see uh, just like we talked about coach Sands gonna open up a little bit fake the option Good ball right there. Defensive back wasn't aware of where it was at. That's a penalty, but boy, oh boy, who was that? Duncan? Duncan on the right catch. catch. 16. I'll tell you what. Great concentration there. If Sean Zolads, the defender, turns around on the play, he's got an interception. They don't know where the ball's at. When the receiver looks for the ball, you look for the ball. He didn't do that there, but they paid a price. Take another look at it, Coach. This could be on the play of the week's Monday. Oh, this is an outstanding effort here by Duncan. I'll tell you what, I see. Yes, it did. The defender, uh, Zolak, tipped it. But I'll tell you, you got to like his Duncan. Great hand-eye coordination. Saw him play basketball in the summertime. Good, hard-working kid. I'll tell you, good kid. Big gain on first down for Indian Creek. 
Pickup of about 30 yards on the play. Lakino into the secondary. He's across the 20 and dives close to the first down yardage he needs. Well, Indian Creek has definitely found something on Buckeye Local's right side, Indian Creek's left side, because they've moved the ball consistently there all night. You can see the offensive line on that side. Just everybody blocking down. A nice kick out block by the fullback, number 42. Lucchino did the rest. Zolats, number 12 for Buckeye Local, making the stop. Stacy in a wing to the far side now. In spelling... Boyack is number 42, Heath, but coming through quickly for Buckeye Local. Nice play defensively. John Schultz, number 34. That's the second time he's coming to the backfield and stopped Indian Creek right after the snap. Down in this area, Buckeye Local's played well defensively. Slipped through. Offensive lineman didn't get his head across there. Nice defensive play. Third and three from the 21 for Indian Creek. Steve Heath in the Buc in the, uh, Indian Creek backfield in for Boyack at fullback now. Yeah. Burge looks to throw. Steps up. Throws for the corner for Gauze. He has it. Touchdown, Indian Creek. Looked like another situation, Coach, where the defender just didn't know where the ball was, and if he turns around, he's right there on the coverage. Yeah, no question. Uh, Indian Creek has been behind Buckeye Local all three or four times. They've looked to throw in the ball, and if Buckeye Local doesn't do something in their secondary, they're going to be in big trouble. Nice play, second time. Defensive back didn't know where the ball was. Gosney made a nice adjustment. Good catch. Extra point up, and it is good, right down the middle. So Indian Creek responds to Buckeye Local. This one shaping up to be a dandy as they go back and forth. 14 to seven, Indian Creek on top. We'll take a timeout, back with more after this. We say yes, yes we can. It's a simple word that everyone understands. We say yes every day. It's a three Hi, I'm Steve Gillardi, President of Advanced Financial Savings Bank. And I'm Mark DeSantis, Vice President and Branch Manager. We are pleased to announce the location of our new branch. Look forward to us in spring 1998 in Wintersville, Ohio. We are expanding to serve our community better. At Advanced Financial Savings Bank, we say yes to you. The Frank & Son Auto Body, our unibody repair specialist, collision specialist. We have oven bake paint room, precision color matching, and we have quality work at reasonable prices. Forrester's Nursing Home in Wintersville salutes the players, cheerleaders, band members, and coaches that keep the creek rising. For information on nursing home care, call 264-7788. The Hillsborough Tavern, McClister Avenue, Mingo. Stop in before or after the ball game. Famous fish every day. Daily luncheon and dinner specials. A 10-year warranty. Most companies don't offer one at any price. But right now, when you buy any high-efficiency Train XL Series heat pump, you'll receive a 10-year parts and labor warranty free. Now that's a really big deal. For more information on Train Electric heat pumps, call Rally Heating and Cooling in Dillonville, 769-2738. Train heat pumps heat, cool, and save. It's hard to stop a train. Come to the Sunshine Fitness Center in Wintersville this month and receive $5 off your monthly membership. Purchase a one-year pass and get $25 off, plus this Sunshine Water Bottle free. Your membership includes racquetball, handball, volleyball, basketball, an indoor track, aerobics, boxing, and a 4,600-square-foot weight facility featuring free weights, universal equipment, and hammer strength. Join the Sunshine Fitness Center and support youth programs for kids in the Ohio Valley. Call 266-6144 for more information. Welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. Rob Birds just threw a touchdown pass. He came in a little banged up with that left knee, and it looks like they're working on that right now. Uh, but he has uh, played very, very well as we take a look at Birds. Boyock at the end of the bench, he is still uh, with an ice pack on the back of his neck. I don't know if we'll see him later in this game. Kickoff now comes down to Buckeye Local. Sean Zolads, number 12. He's got some running room. And he's across the 40-yard line and out close to the 45 of Buckeye Local. That's where the 
Panthers will take over first and ten. Good return. Uh, both teams look good from the offensive standpoint on their specialty teams. <laughs> Offense, defense, and specialty teams. Three keys of football. It's not rocket science. VTech under center, first and ten from the 43-yard line. Handoff inside, first man through. Big number 44, Matt McCain. Matt McCain, the ball there. Picked up six yards. Matt Gould on the stop for Indian Creek. Well, it's obvious uh, Indian Creek's able to move the football. Buckeye Local will have to continue to respond. I just feel bad for Boyock down there, boy. What a football player. You got to love him. I've seen him play three or four times in the last two years. I think my man's really out of it right now, Bill. Handoff. Merkel to the 50-yard line. Pickup of about three. Third and about three for Buckeye Local. I'll tell you what. You get a kick to the chin and it catches you right on the button. No matter who you are, you're going to be here in Dallas. Third down about three. See a little cross buck action here. Guard pulling, followed him up through. Indian Creek giving yards grudgingly. Nick Lamatrice, number 88, in on the tackle as well. 7.15 to go, first half of play. VTech option, a lot of running room. Merkel inside the 40 and dives ahead to the 35-yard line. And I'll tell you what, Buckeye Local caught Indian Creek in a defense they didn't want to be in. Exactly. They've seen uh, every time uh, they've run that option, they've seen to catch um, Indian Creek in the defense they don't want to be in here. And, and they've been successful three times on the option. Good job. Nice job. Quarterback held the ball to the last minute, took the hit. Good pitch, got it out there. And off Merkel again. He's across the 35-yard line. Gain of about three. Second down and seven for Buckeye Local. And this offense is really clicking. Yes, it is. They're moving the football. Uh, got to see them in the scrimmage this year. Uh, they haven't changed much. Uh, Buckeye Local takes on the uh, personality of their coach. No nonsense, basic football. Three yards in a cloud of dust. Or something like dust. <laughs> In double reverse. reverse inside handoff that's Bickerstaff he has some more running room and he's inside the 10 yard line for the second time tonight on a long carry from deep inside or from just inside Indian Creek territory Bickerstaff has made two big runs inside the 10 yard line all this misdirection got to drive a defense coordinator crazy you can see the inside reverse here good lead block open field good field open field running Gosney and Stacy. Both their fathers played on this field. First and goal from the eight yard line for Buckeye Local. Indian Creek just scored on a Burge to Gosney touchdown pass to retake the lead 14 to seven. Buckeye Local threatening. Merkel on the carry at the five. Dives for the goal line. Touchdown Buckeye Local. Wow. We've got a shootout coach. No question about it. Uh, all Buckeye Local's backs are carrying out their fakes. This misdirection is really, really setting things like this up. Quick pitch to the outside. Good block on the perimeter. That was too easy if you're an Indian Creek fan. Coach Kuzikowski from the defensive standpoint is going to make adjustments here. And these teams are just going to keep on going after each other. Matt McCain to attempt the extra point. Snap a good one. Spot down. Kick up. And it is down the middle again. So we are tied once again. 14-14. Two teams coming off a big first week win. And they are playing like they are two teams to be reckoned with for the entire 1997 season. Right now the question is which defense coach is going to step up and get the job done? You could, you could tell, Bill, that the opening uh, season wins for both teams have really allowed both of these teams to play this game with a lot of confidence. And that's what's going on right now. Let's take a look at what's going on Sunday on WTOB9. Of course, you want to get up and get ready for the NFL Sunday afternoon action. You want to do that with Bill Cowher, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bill Cowher show Sunday at 8.30 a.m. And, of course, you have the rebroadcast of the Steubenville Bicentennial Parade Sunday at 1 p.m. 
And later from NBC, big game here, Denver and Seattle. Broncos coming off of a win in their opener, Seattle. Blown out by the New York Jets. The Seahawks are hoping to be a lot better than that this year. So we'll have to see what happens. And, of course, the man bringing it home. Sunday nights at 11.30, the Nacho Man, Don Sloan. In-depth highlights from the Steelers game with the Washington Redskins. College football action. And, of course, we get ready with a look at all the other NFL actions. We get ready for the high school football week ahead here. Let you know what's going on for the games of the week and everything else and what's going on in the pennant races. So make sure you catch the Nacho Man on Sunday night. Sports Sunday as Vandeborn takes the kick and he is out across the 30, close to the 35-yard line. First and 10 from there for Indian Creek on the stop for Buckeye Local. Jeremy Millard and number 83 and Pat Benton, number 61. Build the bicentennial parade. WTOV does it all, don't they? <laughs> Very versatile organization. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We were down there. I was down there. Uh, had a chance to host that uh, bicentennial parade along with Kim Cabasco and Eric Miner down on the street, and uh, we had a great time with the bicentennial parade. Uh, two bands that uh, will perform at halftime tonight: Buckeye Local and Indian Creek. They were in action at the Bicentennial Parade. Both did a fine job. A lot of enjoyment uh, provided from the parade, uh, the bands, and everybody that was involved. And it's a, a lot of fun and uh, a nice parade. And a lot of people are going to tune in to see that one. Yeah, no question. A lot of people worked hard to get that parade together. And uh, really happy things turned out well for them. And Coach, I understand that uh, you thought you were getting a deal. You parked over in the Big, lot, big Lots parking lot. Tonight, but your car may be towed, I find out, from the PA announcement. They just made an announcement, and uh, I think they actually said the one with the sign that says Coach Ray on the back is the first one to go. That's all right. <laughs> Chief Calabrese will take care of me, I'm sure. <laughs> oh. Aquino on the carry. He's across the 35. Short gain of about a yard. Third and about seven. Chuck Watson. Really stiffening up here. Long yardy situation. Third down. Look for Coach Sam. Pull something out of his bag of tricks here. Five minutes to go. First half of play. 14-14 ball game. Buckeye local secondary. Got to see the ball better if they're going to if if they're going to do anything with Indian Creek's passing game defensively. Burge to throw, swings it out in the flat to Stacy. Nice wow. move as he gets past one tackler. He spun down across the 40-yard line. It'll be close to first down yards, but I don't think he has enough. And it'll bring up fourth down. Get a replay on this. Let, let him come on the screen. Give him a leg, Jeremy, and take it away. Beautiful run. See Burge is giving Jeremy time to get in the open field. Give him a leg and take it away. What a nice move. Great effort, almost a first down here. Good measure. Doesn't look like he has any problems with the legs tonight. Second call on 137974 for Alvin Dimbolt. Measurement, and it is going to be short. As about a yard short, coach. I'm sorry, bro. I'm checking, my, ticket out? I'm checking my uh, tickets. I don't want to miss that 50 50. <laughs> You're going for the game ball, Coach. All coach, right. you've got 45 tickets here. Well, you know, I want to win. Did you get the game ball ticket or just go with the 50 50? I was money man, 50 50. 50 50, okay. And Carl Hamill sold it to me. I was going to try and get some tickets. They said you bought them out. I had to. Now, if you win, you're treating for uh, dinner later, right? Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. I got too many miles to feed at home. Bro. Well, Indian Creek has decided they're going to go for it. Maybe try and draw the Panthers off with a long count, and they do. Indian Creek comes out. None of their linemen in the set position or down position, I should say. Birch calls the signal. They go down to the ground, and that movement causes Buckeye Local to jump. Good play from Indian Creek. They pick up the first down. Only a matter of time before Coach Foreman Sadlio goes into the bag of tricks. Buckeye Local ready to go. You not only took the hook, you took the boat. <laughs> 
a little bit too soon. Still looking for Boyack on the sideline. Looks like he's feeling a little bit better. Took the ice pack off. You got to hope he's doing okay. Burge rolls to the far side. Looks for Stacy a little too wide and incomplete on first and 10 from the 46 yard line. Bring second down and 10 with four minutes to go. We're going to remind everybody coming up at the end of the broadcast, we will pick our Red Donnelly Scholarship Award winners, players of the game for both teams. And uh, right now, a number of players uh, up. Uh, for contention there. Of course, you have the check for the sack, Kroger Food and Drug, and the OVAC. Every sack that's recorded tonight worth $50 to the OVAC. And, of course, at half, we will have the Battle of the Bands, Indian Creek and Buckeye Local. Burge, handoff inside to Stacy, bounces it outside. Now he's back inside, and he's going to pick up good yardage, about six on second down. It'll bring up third and four, and an Indian Creek lineman looks to be shaken up down on the field. Number 65, I think he twisted an ankle there. Mike Vitello. Bring up third down about five. Good offensive surge here. Nice job, Indian Creek offensive line. Stacy gets the last three or four on his own. Third and a long four. Heath in motion to the far side. Burge option down the line with Stacy. Burge is going to cut it back, keep it, and he'll be across the first down yardage he needed, and he'll have the first down inside the 45 at about the 42-yard line of Buckeye Local. His leg looked good there. He playing on his outside foot, put it upfield, got his shoulders going, put his head down, got the first down. Good hard run by the Indian Creek quarterback, Robbie Burge. <laughs> Took a hit, challenged the defense. Buckeye Local swarming to the football. Clock stops for the first down, 331. And we have an official timeout. It looks like well, Buckeye Local Panther either shake it up or an equipment problem. Number 34, John Schultz. Looks like a chin strap problem, coach. And that's what it was. So the official able to correct that without having to send Schultz off to the sideline. So he'll stay in the ball game. First and 10, 328. Let's see if we throw it here in the Creek. Good option. Burge option down the line. Right now he keeps. Then the pitch to Stacy, and they're going to lose yards. A little tougher to option to the wide side than it is the you, option Bob, to the short side. Coach Fonsalio yeah, went to the wide side that side. Buckeye local, great defensive pursuit there. Brian Vitek on the stop for Buckeye local. Nine. Both teams here well coached, well prepared, very familiar with each other. And you can tell, tightly contested game. Duncan in the ball game. Houston in the near side. Lakino on the far side. And a wing. Heath will come in motion towards us. Handoff. Stacy has the hole, has some running room, and he'll be close to first down yardage. May have it at the 30 yard line. Quick hitter for Indian Creek over the left side. Jeremy Stacy, good yard. He's hit the hole quick. Stacy getting into the secondary on the dive play. That's impressive from an offensive standpoint there. Buckeye local defense continuing to bend, but hasn't broke yet. Aquino, wing near side. Keith and Stacy in the backfield in an eye. 2.45 to go, first half of play. 14-14 ball game, pitch to Stacy. Cuts back on the block from Heath, but not much doing there as Buckeye Local pursues well. Tansmore, number 77 for Buckeye Local, making the stop. You see, Buckeye Local has uh, undoubtedly made some adjustments there on their defensive right side. Indian Creek was running at will that way, uh, but wasn't able to get outside on the perimeter that time. Didn't get a block out there. Terry Smith, number 40, also in on the play for Buckeye Local. Yeah, 
Indian Creek unbalanced line. Double wing. Broken by Stacy as he comes in motion. Burge to throw. Outside to Stacy. Has some running room at the 20 yard line. He's down to the 19. On the stop from behind. That's McCain. Back out of the backfield. Well designed play. Should have enough for the first down. Unbalanced left. Coming back to the weak side here. Quick hitter out there to Jeremy. Good receiver. I'll tell you what. Indian Creek sending three guys out on every pass pattern so far. Stretching the defense. Having a man underneath and throwing it right about the linebacker position. Timeout down on the field. Buckeye Local 14. Indian Creek 14. 146 to go in the half. Indian Creek threatening. We're back with more after this. Walking is the most natural exercise. The more physically active you get, the more fit you become. The Jefferson County Health Department wants you to know that walking tones muscles, maintains cardiovascular health, prevents osteoporosis, reduces stress, increases energy levels, improves self-image, and helps lower blood pressure and cholesterol. Plus, walking is inexpensive, safe, and easy. Pick up a distance walking chart from the Jefferson County Health Department and take the road to health. Walk it! Good luck area teams from Water Transport, your number one bottled water company. Congratulations and good luck from all of us at Sterling's Auto Body. Dr. William S. Grant specializes in medical and surgical treatment of the foot and ankle. He and his staff will provide you with prompt, courteous, and gentle care. Why walk in pain? Come see Dr. Grant. He'll put some pride in your... Autumn brings us high school football with all of its pageantry. But every touchdown and 12 baton brings us closer to cold, messy weather. No matter what the season brings, Schwartz Homes is committed to providing service, selection, and quality all inside the world's only climate-controlled indoor megastore. Practice makes perfect, and Schwartz scores big by being named the 1997 National Retailer of the Year. Come inside and see what it's all about. The Schwartz Homes Indoor Megastore, New Philadelphia. Introducing Super Doppler 9000 from News 9. From the News 9 Storm Center, the Storm Team 9 meteorologists will now show you the weather as it's happening. Super Doppler 9000 is amazing. It can tell us exactly where a storm is right now while we're on the air. When severe weather is hitting, you need the most accurate, most up-to-date information, and that's exactly what Super Doppler 9000 can do. Don't go to bed. Don't make plans until you check out Super Doppler 9000. And welcome back, Bill Phillips and the coach, Ray Sakash, and we have a dandy going on, coach. Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard, that is correct, 14-14, with 145 to go in the first half of play. Indy Creek on a great drive right now, mixing the pass and the run, and they have a first and 10 from the 19-yard line of Buckeye Local. Outstanding first half so far by both teams offensively and defensively. But the key now is going to be in the last minute 46 to see who ends up on the high at the half. Burge to throw. Backside pressure from Terry Smith. Incomplete hand going forward as Smith clean Burge's clock as it goes incomplete. And it'll bring up second down from the 19. Good pressure from the backside by Buckeye local defense can't throw it unless you have time and Robbie was lucky to get that arm going forward good closing speed by the Buckeye local defender slapping at the ball in the hand that's going to throw it second and ten where we at the 20 19 yard line first and ten from the 19 second down for Indian Creek Gosney near side Stacy the far side Ball on the ground, Burge picks it up, gets himself some time, looks to the corner of the end zone for Gosney, a battle in the back of the end zone, and VTech is able to knock it away at the last moment. We have a flag down in the backfield from where Burge threw the football. We'll see if it's a holding or a roughing the passer, and it looks like it's going to be a roughing the passer against Buckeye Local. Bobby Burge made a nice play out of, out of the miscue there at the very beginning. Kept the presence of mind to pick the ball up and look to make something happen. 
personal foul, roughing the passer. Burge keeps his wits about him there, just picking up the football, Coach. You know, you got to protect the quarterback. Uh, you can't see it right there on the replay, and I, and I didn't get a good look at it. I was watching the catch downfield, but uh, nine times out of the ten, uh, the referee is going to protect the quarterback just like protecting the punter, and he should. Sam Ford Sagley on the sideline. He wants to see exactly what's going on. And, you know, we talked about the defensive backs. A couple of big plays went against uh, Buckeye Local. Defensive backs didn't get all the way back around. That time, VTech was there. Adjustments were made, and, and that's what uh, athletics and uh, competition is all about, is making adjustments. Who's going to make the better one? And Buckeye Local secondary made one there and saved the touchdown. First and goal from the nine for Indian Creek. Heath and Stacy in the backfield. Aquino, Gosney, and Duncan, your receivers. Handoff, Heat. Inside the five-yard line, still on his feet, spins, and he is just short of the end zone. Unbalanced line that time, unbalanced left formation, left. Big fullback off left tackle. They continue to attack Buckeye Local's right side. Just missed getting into the end zone, did Heath, coach. See Lyman on an area blocked everybody stepping to the play. Nothing fancy about that. Give the ball to the big fullback. Second and goal from inside the one yard line for Indian Creek. Ethan Stacey in the backfield. Aquino in a wing to the far side. Handoff. Heath dives. Goal line. Touchdown Indian Creek. So Indian Creek regains the lead with 53 seconds to go in the first half. They lead it by a score of 20 to 14, extra point to be attempted. We take another look at it, coach, just inside run. Nothing fancy there, toe-to-toe -to -toe splits. Goal line defense, helmet on helmet. They needed six inches. Good hard run. Some confusion for Indian Creek as they get ready to line up on the extra point attempt, so they call timeout. Good timeout. Very good timeout. Don't want to make a mistake. And uh, Sam Point Saglio heads out to the offensive huddle, the extra point huddle, while Tim Bain, head coach from Buckeye Local, heads out to his uh, extra point block huddle. And Indian Creek right now uh, feeling good about themselves with a six-point lead. Buckeye Local, even though they give up that touchdown, still, I'm sure, Coach, feeling pretty good about the way the half uh, ended up offensively because they've been able to put some drives together, but will they have enough time, 53 seconds, to get another one on the board before the half? If they can't get one in, hopefully they can do something for their sake, uh, just positive to finish out the half because uh, it looks to me that Indian Creek is going to be able to continue to put some points on the board. But half times are made of adjustments. Well, we take a look at what's coming up next week on the WTOB9 High School Football Game of the Week. That's a battle year in, year out. Monroe Central and River next week at 11.45 following Sports Friday. Back for the extra point. Nick Mead. Kick is up. Kick is through. And he is three for three this evening. Nick Mead. Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard, Indian Creek 21, Buckeye Local 14 will stay right here for the final 53 seconds of this one. And I'll tell you what, Coach, we expected a good game, and we have gotten a good game. Well, this is two weeks in a row for me. I've got to see a lot of scoring. Last week it was uh, We're High and the Quincy Wilson show up at Oak Glen. And uh, this week, Indian Creek and Buckeye Local putting points on the board. A lot of points for a high school football game in the first half. Fans love it. Coach Bain, there he is. Assisted by Jason Kernahan. I believe he's on the phones down there somewhere. It was interesting. I talked to Coach Bain uh, on the phone earlier this week, getting his uh, lineups. And um, yeah, I talked about, I mentioned last year's game, close game. Uh, Could have gone either way. And uh, he said, well, you know, Bill, he said, a close game is not what we're looking for. We're not looking for moral victories. We're looking for wins. We're looking for Ws. And uh, that's what that's what we want to go by. If you get beat by 50 or by one, it's still a loss. And uh, same thing with a win. If you win by one or win by 50, it's just a win. But uh, that's what Buckeye Local.
is looking for. They're not going to be satisfied to, to play close ball games as they did last year and come up on the short end of the stick. They want the wins. So, uh, they, and they uh, seem to be ready and not going to be ready to, no to give up in this one. So this, we've got a long way to go, and they've still got 44 seconds to go in the first half. And as you mentioned, when you talked to Coach Payne, you were ready to play football. I talked to him. I was the same way. I was like, all right, let's go hit something. There's no question. Uh, Buckeye local, um, they definitely have a winner in Timmy Bain. Uh, you got to love what he does. Uh, he just reaps with uh, enthusiasm and intensity. And, uh, you know, my kid can play for him anytime. First and 10 for Buckeye Local at their own 33. VTech looking to pass. Rolls and looks long down the middle for Bickerstaff. And it's knocked down at the last second by Gosney. And I think Gosney kind of mistimed his jump and wasn't quite ready. And went up with one hand and possibly could have had an interception. But he knocks it down for Indian Creek. And if he can knock it down, that's a win. No question. Gosney playing a little soft in the secondary. Knows they're probably going to go up top with it. He's a smart safety. I really like him as a football player, um, and he was right there, just uh, misjudged it. But the surprising thing is, is, um, is Buckeye Local might have had a play going here. Bickerstaff, the intended receiver, Brian Bickerstaff, number 45. They line up in a slot this time, and they will keep it on the ground, will Buckeye Local. And a gain of about five on the play, on the carry for Buckeye Local, Chad McFadden. Nick Lavatrice makes the stop as the clock rolls inside of 25 seconds. Buckeye Local continue to go with the misdirection. Continue to have a little bit of success here, but I'm sure Indian Creek's going to give that up. Nice job by Lamatrice on the tackle there. Inside of 10 seconds to go in the half, Gosney drops about 35 yards behind the line of scrimmage, and Buckeye Local keep it on the ground. McFadden again, nothing doing, lost the yard on the play. And that's the way this first half will come to a close. We have the siren after one half of play. Indian Creek on top by 7, 21-14. to 14. We'll have the Battle of the Bands when we come back, and much more. Don't go away. From WTOV TV, this is News 9 Now. Hi, I'm Donna Irvin, and here's who's making news this hour. Now, police say they have the man who opened fire on two people who were driving in their car. Now, the incident happened Thursday night near the Parkview Circle housing complex. 20-year-old Jason Brown is charged with felonious assault. Now, Sam King of Steubenville and Angela King of Columbus were not seriously hurt. We'll have more news later. you need physical therapy, choose the best. Physical Therapy Associates. It's more than hospital for you. Physical Therapy Associates. More than a hospital for you. The high school football game of the week, Buckeye Local versus Indian Creek, is brought to you by Steel Valley Sports Medicine, Schwartz Holmes, Kroger, Physical Therapy Associates, Jefferson County Health Department, Riley Heating and Cooling, and Advanced Financial Savings Bank. Hi, I'm News Nice Jim Forbes, and this is Dick Reeder, President and CEO of Words and Steel. As you know, cold weather is approaching, and many Ohio Valley children do not have a coat to keep them warm. Wirt and Steel cares about the people of the Ohio Valley, and that's why we're proud to kick off the 1997 WTOV Coats for Kids campaign by donating the first $1,000, and we urge that you give what you can. Show the children of the Ohio Valley you care. Send your donation today to Coats for Kids to the address on the screen. And welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. Indian Creek on top at the half, 21-14. The Battle of Bands has begun. Our first contestant down on the field, Buckeye Local.
Buckeye Local Marching Band. We'll be back with the Indian Creek Marching Band right after this. Yes, we can. It's a simple word that everyone understands. We say yes every day. It's a Hi, I'm Steve Gillardi, President of Advanced Financial Savings Bank. And I'm Mark DeSantis, Vice President and Branch Manager. We are pleased to announce the location of our new branch. Look forward to us in spring 1998 in Wintersville, Ohio. We are expanding to serve our community better. At Advanced Financial Savings Bank, we say yes to you. Forrester's Nursing Home in Wintersville salutes the players, cheerleaders, band members, and coaches that keep the creek rising. For information on nursing home care, call 264-7788. Don't talk about it. Do it. Check out Tech. Tech Prep. Treat that special person to their very own picture cake. Perfect for any occasion. It's sweet art, and it's only at Gus's Goodies. I had two major shoulder surgeries in the big city. After finding both of them to be unsuccessful, I decided to stay locally with Dr. Capito. It's the best thing I ever did. Look out, John Elway. There's only one play I'd call for a sports injury. It'll work every time, six points. WTOV9 is proud to recognize outstanding students at Buckeye Local High School. This week we salute Jamie Weldon, Student Council President and Varsity Cheerleader, Tim Sable, Student Council Vice President and National Honor Society, Carrie Peltz, National Honor Society and Marching Band, Amy McMillan, Senior Class President and Pantherette Dance Line, Eric Prashani, Varsity Baseball and National Honor Society. WTOV9 salutes all the students at Buckeye Local High School. And welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. Indian Creek and Buckeye Local, an exciting first half. It's the Redskins on top of the Panthers, 21-14. to And right now we're getting ready to take a look at the Indian Creek Marching Band. I have some inside information. You're going to hear Watermelon Man and Good Golly Miss Molly. So that's the Battle of Ants as it continues here at halftime.
That's a look at the Indian Creek Marching Band. We'll take a timeout back with the second half right after this. Autumn brings us high school football with all of its pageantry. But every touchdown and twirl of the baton brings us closer to cold, messy weather. No matter what the season brings, Schwartz Homes is committed to providing service, selection, and quality all inside the world's only climate-controlled indoor megastore. Practice makes perfect, and Schwartz scores big by being named the 1997 National Retailer of the Year. Come inside and see what it's all about. The Schwartz Homes Indoor Megastore, New Philadelphia. A 10-year warranty. Most companies don't offer one at any price. But right now, when you buy any high-efficiency Train XL Series heat pump, you'll receive a 10-year parts and labor warranty free. Now that's a really big deal. For more information on train electric heat pumps, call Raleigh Heating and Cooling in Dillonville, 769-2738. Train heat pumps, heat, cool, and save. It's hard to stop a train. The Hillsborough Tavern, McClister Avenue, Mingo. Stop in before or after the ball game. Famous fish every day. Daily luncheon and dinner specials. The Frank & Son Auto Body, our unibody repair specialist, collision specialist. We have oven bag paint room, precision color matching, and we have quality work at reasonable prices. Dr. William S. Grant specializes in medical and surgical treatment of the foot and ankle. He and his staff will provide you with prompt, courteous, and gentle care. Why walk in pain? Come see Dr. Grant. He'll put some pride in your... WTOV9 is proud to recognize outstanding students at Indian Creek High School. This week we salute John Mitz, varsity soccer and track. Travis Eastham, Marching Band and National Honor Society. Rachel Burns, Varsity Cheerleader and Key Club Vice President. Keith Vogt, Varsity Cross Country and Senior Class President. Steve DeBacco, Marching Band and Varsity Tennis. WTOV9 salutes all the students at Indian Creek High School. And welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. Bill, Bill Phillips, that's who I am. At least I think I'm trying to say that name anyways. Bill Phillips and the coach, Ray Suckush, and coach the Battle of the Bands over. People at home will have to judge who is the winner. Two fine bands, Buckeye Local and Indian Creek. Kickoff comes down to Buckeye Local. He'll get the ball first. Terry Smith, number 40, on the return, still on his feet, and dragging Indian Creek Redskins for about 10 yards out close to the 40-yard line. So good field position. Sure, I Buckeye think Local. Excuse me, Bill. I think uh, first possessions uh, of the halves, both offensively and defensively, you're going to be able to see uh, what coaches did at halftime and adjustments they made and what their attitude is going to be offensively and defensively in the second half. First and ten for the Panthers. Handoff goes to Merkel. He's going to look to cut it back. Does. Doesn't have any blockers. Cuts it straight up. And he is finally taken down on the tackle. Ivan Morgan, number 58. Nothing there. Good penetration by the defense. There's the big fella. There's Dave the Boyock. He's uh, out of his game pads. He's just uh, sitting in his... Uh, game shirt. He's got the shoulder pads and the helmet back in the locker room, so uh, we would assume that uh, possibly a concussion, but dinged up enough where they're not going to let him go back in the ball game. Across the middle late. 
intended receiver Zolads and VTech throws incomplete, but that is always a dangerous play yeah, across the middle lake. Nothing, there was nothing there. Uh, probably was an ill-advised pass. Uh, don't want your quarterback doing that, but you know, kids want to make things happen, and Indian Creek had that defended well. Two man, two man route though, and uh, you can see the difference there, the difference of philosophy offensively. Uh, Indian Creek in their pass routes usually three men, Buckeye local two. Option to the short the side works Urkel again. Has it. He'll be close to first down yardage and he'll have it at midfield. Option's been the bread and butter for Buckeye Local four or five times. They, Coach Baines called it. It's worked every time. So obviously they feel that they can option them in certain situations. Merkel, nice run. There's a look at head coach Tim Bain on the sideline. His team first and ten at midfield. Handoff, Bickerstaff, a little shake and bake at the line, nothing doing on the stop. Big number 72, Keith Jarman. Well, you can see uh, even though VTech did a nice job on the option previously, that play's been successful. The uh, misdirection play has hurt Indian Creek this evening, but Coach Ford Sadly and his defensive staff paid a lot of attention to it at halftime. Coach Kuzikowski handing the defense there. They're not biting on that misdirection as of yet. Jarman, 6'2", 275. Option down the line. This time put on the ground. Merkel has it, but he'll go be forced out of bounds by three Redskins. Loss of four on the play. Third and long. Well, you can see uh, right there, uh, if we get a replay on this, uh, nice job to the short side. Indian Creek defending the option. First time the option has a work. Nice job by Lamatrice and Hammock out there. Defended the option perfectly. I love the option to the short side of the field offensively. Uh, I think it's easier to be successful at that rate. And you'll see most teams do run it to the short side offense. VTech setting up the screen, and it is complete, but it's not going to go. Now is it a complete catch or an incomplete pass? Incomplete pass. Hammock was there defensively, number one for Indian Creek. Fuck, I hope we tried to get a center screen there. Incomplete pass. Hammock, Hammock made the play. Okay, incomplete pass. Is there you the, see him uh, right there. The call. Fourth and long, fourth and 14 from the 47 of Buckeye Local Clock, moving at 9.44 to go in the third quarter of play. Aquino and Stacy back deep. Two big threats deep for Indian Creek. Buckeye Local doing the wise thing, punting wow. away, get a nice roll. Inside the 20, and, and call him it down. down. It looks like Lucchino had his knee touch the turf, and they will call him down at about the 18-yard line. So that's where Indian Creek will take over first and 10 with a 21-14 lead. We'll take a timeout. Back with more after this. I have two major shoulder surgeries in the big city. After finding both of them to be unsuccessful, I decided to stay locally with Dr. Capito. It's the best thing I ever did. Look out, John Elway. There's only one play I'd call for a sports injury. It'll work every time, six points. A 10-year warranty. Most companies don't offer one at any price. But right now, when you buy any high-efficiency Train XL Series heat pump, you'll receive a 10-year parts and labor warranty free. Now that's a really big deal. For more information on Train Electric heat pumps, call Rally Heating and Cooling in Dillonville, 769-2738. Train heat pumps heat, cool, and save. It's hard to stop a train. Treat that special person to their very own picture cake. Perfect for any occasion. It's sweet art, and it's only at Gus's Goodies. Don't talk about it. Do it. Check out Tech. Tech Prep. Good luck, area teams, from Water Transport, your number one bottled water company. 
WTOV9 is proud to recognize outstanding students at Buckeye Local High School. This week we salute Jamie Weldon, Student Council President and Varsity Cheerleader, Tim Sable, Student Council Vice President and National Honor Society, Carrie Peltz, National Honor Society and Marching Band, Amy McMillan, Senior Class President and Pantherette Dance Line, Eric Prashani, Varsity Baseball and National Honor Society. WTOV9 salutes all the students at Buckeye Local High School. Welcome back to the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week. While we were away, someone dropped a hanky on the field, Coach, and it cost uh, Buckeye Local some yardage, so Indian Creek, after Lakino downed it inside the 20, has decided to let Buckeye Local kick it again, see if they can get better field position. VTEC. Good low strong kick. It's going to bounce and take a Buckeye local hop. Stacy fields it. He's across the 35, across the 40, and spins ahead to the 41 yard line. So sometimes coaches will worry that maybe a turnover if you try to field it off the hop, but uh, Stacy picks it up. Nice move and picks up a good plus 10 from where he's a ball player looking to make something happen. Jason Rode defensively for Buckeye local. Coach Indian Creek has really yet to have bad field position to start a drive here on the 41-yard line. A good field position again. Burge, handoff. Hammock looking to bounce it outside. Terry Smith has none of that for Buckeye Lope. He makes a stop behind the line of scrimmage. Nice job defensively. Uh, Indian Creek shifted over their tight end to an end over formation, which is an unbalanced line, and Buckeye Local was up to the challenge. Ryan Duncan split to the far side. Aquino split to the near side at the 38-yard line. Burge the pass. Looks in the flat for Stacy. He's got some running room. No one back deep for Buckeye Local. Stacy puts a little move. Cuts inside. He's off to the races. He could go. Gets a block at the five. Touchdown, Indian Creek. Two-yard touchdown pass, and Coach really just a little simple flat pattern from Stacy, and it caught Buckeye Local in the wrong defense because no one was there, and he had all kinds of room to run. No question, um, Stacy out into the flats. Definitely Burge's hot receiver. Buckeye Local was caught defensively at a drop in there. Charles Dan Tansmore, 6'3", 245 junior, dropping from his defensive end position. He can't stay with Stacy, so uh, big play, good open field running. Uh, Stacy causes the last receiver to a uh, defensive man to miss. Nice run. 21-14. 28-14. 28-14. Check that as we take a look at Stacy. Great move here, Coach. I'll tell you. You really got to like the way Stacy gives you a leg and takes it away. And his nose is towards the end zone. He smells it. Guy who's going to get some credit on that play, Brian Duncan. Good downfield blocking. And you're, Indian Creek celebrates a big touchdown. No question. You're going you're to see that most of the time on a uh, long run. You're going to get a solid block downfield from your receivers. Uh, that's a stock block out there on the perimeter where the offensive man just breaks down and tries to shield people off and let the back break off of it. There's the crazies. There's Kevin's crazies. There they are. Last week they gave me an autographed hat. Kellis Crazies, Crazies had an Indian Creek hat. They all signed it. They gave it to me, so I'll, I'll wear that for the pride. So I think they were last year's champions, weren't they? Oh, definitely last year's champions. They're off to a good start to defend their title. As Bickerstaff has a good start on this kickoff return that gets all the way across the 35-yard line. Boy, boy, I'll tell you, it's important here to Buckeye Local moves the football and get something on the board. Um, Indian Creek all night have been explosive offensively. Buckeye Local has been caught in defense, has been able to give up the defense, uh, the big offensive play on their part. They've got to respond here. It's crucial. Eight eighteen to go. Third quarter of play. Bill Phillips and the coach, Ray Suckosh. First and 10 from the 37-yard line of Buckeye Local. Coming around the end. 
McFadden. McFadden, number 25, Chad McFadden. Gain of about four, second down and a long five. We're short six if you're an optimist. You've got to be optimistic at all times, Bill. You know that. That's right. Coming in to make the play, Taliani, Jason, number 34. Sitting in the press box here, named after Jason's grandfather, Rudy Taliani, long time Wintersville photographer and gave a lot to the Wintersville uh, Warrior program. Named the press box after him. McFadden out to the 45-yard line. He's about a yard short of the first down. Checking back into the ball game, Aaron Hensroth. Roth, Hensroth, number 23. He'll split to the far side. Look out, a little local, a little bit over uh, end over offense here on balance line right. Hand off. McCain. First down for Buckeye Local. Down on the field, looks like with a cramp, number 51 for Indian Creek, Nick Donzilla. And I'll tell you what, Coach, looking down on the sideline, the last time Indian Creek was out on the field offensively, I saw Donzilla trying to do a little calf stretch up against the fence. Still a little humid, a little warm early in the season. Of course, uh, players will cramp up every once in a while. Donzilla down on the field. Also now another Indian Creek defender. It looks like Nick Lamatrice. He might just be getting a little extra stretch. But I uh, always like to do my uh, banana commercial. With this exactly. I was just going to tell him, Tell the people what you need. You need the potassium. Sodium, a little potassium, keep it from cramping up. We've got Doug Figgle down on the phone right there. He's probably calling for a bushel of bananas right now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Coach, every Friday night at 11.10, you can see all the scores and highlights. There it is, Sports Friday. Award-winning program, Bill Phillips, Don Sloan. Bill Phillips, that's me. Don Sloan, George Kellis, and Rick Terry. And uh, we are... Having a lot of fun again this year, bringing all the scores and highlights. Only two weeks in, and after a long month of high school previews that had George and Don all over the Ohio Valley, uh, they were ready to get going with the high school football season, and everybody else was, so it's good to have it here. Week number two, and uh, some great games already, and some interesting stories starting to be written, which uh, teams will uh, have a happy ending this year, which ones will be disappointed, and which ones will be uh, happy with improvement that they've made from last year. I think football, uh, high school football in the High Valley this year, you know, it goes through cycles. But I think up and down the valley, I think you got some good football teams. And uh, I think everybody's kind of like on the upswing this year with some better teams. Indian Creek's a good football team. Buckeye Local's coming back. We are high, look good, but then look at Wheeling Park. Martins Ferry's a good team. Bel Air is strong. I personally believe Big Red's a year away. Buckeye Local's a year away. Interesting ball, ball club out at Edison. Greggy Bain's playing a lot of the young kids out there. Get that good sophomore class. Option down the line. VTech pitch. McFadden, he's going to be wrapped up and spun out of bounds. Vanderborn, number 12, on the stop. Indian Creek closing down the option. The last two times they ran it, they're making some adjustments defensively for something that hurt them in the first half offensively. Fake to the fullback, true belly option here. Hammock making a play out there, stretching the defense out. Allowing the defensive back to come up and make a play. Fadden comes down the line, handoff inside. And McCain is stacked up. Short gain, if any, on the tackle. Ivan Morgan. Lamatrice also in on the stop. Interesting thing, Buckeye Local really likes to run the football, as we mentioned earlier in the game. Only want to pass when they have to pass, or they want to, actually they want to dictate when they pass, but uh, right now, they may be in a passing situation. They really haven't been able to establish anything in terms of the pass. Well, I know Coach Bain is going to want to get away from his game plan and show any signs of panic, but he needs to get some points here. 
Vitek down touch. the middle, has a man open. It's complete for first down at the 35-yard line. Vandeborn and Gosney on the tackle. On the reception, John Schultz, number 34. His first big offensive play. He's had a couple of tackles tonight, but they're a nice reception as Vitek liked the roll, set up, glided it down the feet, and then delivered the football. Exactly. Uh, nice play-action pass here. Threw a nice ball right into the teeth of the Indian Creek secondary. Ball was on the money. Can't defend that. Hand off McFadden. He goes for about four on first down. Second down and six for Buckeye Local. Alleyani on the stop for Indian Creek. 5.30 to go. Third quarter of play. Two touchdown lead for Indian Creek. 28 to 14. Boyack scored first for Indian Creek. Then Merkel responded, made it 7-7 ball game for Buckeye Local. And Duncan with a big catch kept the drive alive. And then Gosney collected a 21-yard touchdown pass to make it 14-7 before Merkel tied it up at 14-14. Then it was Steve Heath and Jeremy Stacy as it is McCain. Into the secondary, down to about the 16-yard line for first down. So Buckeye Local looking to score again and cut into that lead. Nothing fancy here. Kick out the end with the guard pool. That came right off the guard's rear end into the secondary. Good hard run. Got his shoulders upfield. First down. Zolads to the near side. Bickerstaff in a wing to the far side. Bickerstaff, inside handoff, uh, keeps his feet, but he gets down to the 15-yard line before he's pushed back. Matt Gould, number 54, and it looked like uh, Heath also went on the tackle along with McFarland. And we have another Indian Creek Redskin down on the field. And it looks like it may be another cramp. Uh, you can see uh, Indian Creek's half-times adjustments here taking away the two plays that have hurt them, the misdirection and the option. And uh, they're forcing Buckeye Locals offensively to make plays. That play with Bickerstaff has worked for big yardage in the first half twice, really helping to set up uh, two touchdowns as he went for big yards inside the 10-yard 10, 10 line twice on that play. But uh, as you mentioned, adjustments from Indian Creek as they are able to stop it here as we have a, uh, another injury down on the field, or not injury, actually a cramping injury as we take a look at the scoreboard. 28-14 to 14 on WTOV9. Super Doppler 9000 scoreboard. We're back with more after this. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 64. Tom, head of PDQ. Hey, groovy guy. I'm looking for a... Exhaust gas recirculation valve for my 76 Cordova. If you need hard to find parts, it doesn't matter what model or even what decade your car is from. With PDQ, you usually get the part overnight. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. I had two major shoulder surgeries in the big city. After finding both of them to be unsuccessful, I decided to stay locally with Dr. Capito. It's the best thing I ever did. Look out, John Elway. There's only one play I'd call for a sports injury. It'll work every time, six points. The high school football game of the week, Buckeye Local versus Indian Creek is brought to you by Steel Valley Sports Medicine. Schwartz Holmes, Kroger, Physical Therapy Associates, Jefferson County Health Department, Riley Heating and Cooling, and Advanced Financial Savings Bank. WTOV9 is proud to recognize outstanding students at Indian Creek High School. This week we salute John Mitz, Varsity Soccer and Track, Travis Easton, Marching Band and National Honor Society, Rachel Burns, Varsity Cheerleader and Key Club Vice President, Keith Vogt, Varsity Cross Country and Senior Class President. Steve DeBracco, Marching Band and Varsity Tennis. WTOV9 salutes all the students at Indian Creek High School. And welcome back to the game of the week. 
Second down and eight from the 15 for Buckeye Local. Inside handoff and on his feet inside the 10 yard line is McCain as he moves the pile and picks up about five yards. So a good effort by McCain there to really push the pile back. Nick Lamatrice was the injured Indian Creek Redskin who went off while we were away. And as McCain continues to run tough inside. Power football continuing to pull the onside guard to kick out the end. McCain chose to run up inside that time. Good offensive down here for um, Buckeye Local. Third and a short three. Gives you an option to do a few things. Zolads to the far side. Bickerstaff and a wing to the near side. McFadden and McCain in the backfield for Buckeye Local. Hand off McCain, flag on the play. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. We'll have to wait and see what the flag is. Came in from the referee's position. Comes in from that spot, usually bad news in the offensive backfield. There you Motion go. penalty against the Panthers, so that will push them back five yards if Indian Creek accepts the penalty. I would believe they probably will. They could bring up uh, fourth down if they don't. Well, they're going to bring it back. So it'll be third and eight for Buckeye Local. Checking into the ball game, John Lynn, number 56 for Buckeye Local. Pat Benton, 61, checks back out. Zolads and Bickerstaff, they're going to set up wide side. Merkel and McCain in the backfield. Option. VTech keeps, cuts it up the middle, and he'll be close to first down yardage, spinning inside the 10 yard line. We'll have to wait for a measurement, but VTech saw the pressure. Coach turn it up that time. Real nice run offensively by the quarterback, Ryan VTech. Indian Creek chose to play the pitch that time, and VTech made the good decision. Missed the tackle, got a missed tackle in the second there. That all in the backfield, that always hurts. Ivan Give Morgan. him a first down. First and goal from the seven-yard line. So Buckeye Local, down two touchdowns, has a chance here to cut it to one. Terry Smith in the backfield now, number 40. Hand off, McCain inside, good surge, and down inside the four-yard line to about the three. Straight ahead blocking, helmet on helmet. Just depend on your fullback to move the pile. Official timeout down on the field is one of the offensive linemen for Buckeye Local. Ties his shoes. We take a look at Tim Bain on the sideline. Second down and goal from the three for Buckeye Local. And Charles Tansmore, big number 77, tying up the laces. Second down and goal from the three for Buckeye Local. McCain, handoff straight ahead and coming up quickly, Nick Donzilla as he met him right at the line of scrimmage and credit Donzilla with the tackle and the stop for Indian Creek. Nose right on the numbers, didn't give ground, beautiful tackle. Nick Donzilla, there he is. That's the way you fill a hole right there. Coach, third down. You look for a little maybe bootleg action or maybe an option down the line. No doubt. I think we're going to do something with a fake. To the, they're going to go power. Merkel. Nothing. Nothing doing. Maybe a yard. Gosney Gould, number 54 in there. Looked like number 30, 34. Jason Taliani was in there as well. Bring up fourth and goal and down two touchdowns with 2.07 to go in the third quarter. I'm thinking you have to go for the six. Officials time out here. Something's wrong. Okay, we're getting ready to play football. Fourth and goal from the one. I think just by the well, good call here. We're going to get a timeout, but just by the way, uh, Buckeye Local's offensive attitude is is they they need six. I don't even think they're going to think about three here. Timeout down on the field, and Coach Sam don't like the spot. 
Now, is this what you were talking about earlier in the ball game with coaches? Yeah, they know that the officials do a good job. They would never argue. He's telling That's the official that he is, he is right. He's, I'm sure he's agreeing, agreeing with Chuck, telling Chuck, you know, I think you did a great job on that spot. You know, I just want you to explain to me what you're doing here and uh, where are you going to go after the game have a hamburger? <laughs> Have a hamburger. Yeah, Sammy's not not known for uh, getting upset, getting on officials, and that's not his mode. He's more low key. Well, with 156 to go in the third quarter, we'll await Buckeye Local's decision on what they want to do here on fourth and goal from the one. I know what we're going to do tomorrow afternoon. Georgia Tech and Notre Dame right here on WTOB9. That's coming up next, I should say. It's Friday night. We're not fooling anybody. We're going to run this at noon. It's not dark at noon. Dean, I know you're... I, Dean Marini's ready to kill me down in the truck. Dean Marini, he's just on top of the game. He's on Our top of the game. Our eye formation in the backfield for Buckeye Local. Fourth and goal from the one. No. VTech keeps. He's not going to get there. Indian Creek with a stop defensively. Matt Gould, the first one off the pile, number 54, but it was a host of Indian Creek Redskins that made the stop. Yeah, we get a replay on this. I think we're unbalanced left. Backfield formation right. They just didn't get any movement there on Indian Creek defense, and uh, it's like a team picture over there. On the board right now, 148 to go in the third quarter. Indian Creek on top, 28 to 14. Last possession they had the football. It was a Jeremy Stacy 62-yard TD reception from Rob Birch. Pass probably traveled maybe 10 yards. The rest was Stacy and blockers downfield. Buckeye local looking for a turnover, and they got a safety. They get some points, and they'll get the football on the free kick. Got a Buckeye local player, number 77, cramping up on the field. Indian Creek chose to run an option there. Birds didn't have a chance. Defensive end come down hard on him. Great penetration here by the Buckeye local defensive right side. He was on Birds before he could do anything. Host attack was there. Looks like John Schultz, number 34, making the stop. First man there in the end zone. And I'll tell you what, Coach, I just said that Buckeye Local is looking for a turnover. The only thing better than a turnover is getting a safety. Got so you get points. two points, and you're going to get the football back. Well, barring an outstanding kick here, they're going to get, Buckeye Local is going to get a uh, good field position. You see some of them uh, Kellis crazies over there from the Raylan area. Charles Tansmore, number 77, down on the field at the five-yard line. He cramped up, pops up, and he's running off on his own power, so he should be back in the ball game once they make sure he's okay. Charles Tansmore, the end of the one forty-five to go in the third quarter of an exciting ball game. 28 to 16 now, thanks to the safety. Credit John Schultz. Buckeye Local with an opportunity, good field position here. Wow. I think they got their people too deep, Bill. Well, gonna move see if Meade kicks it. Uh, down there with the free kick, it looks like it will indeed be Nick Meade, number 14. I'm moving up a little now. Buckeye Local stands back at about the 30-yard line. Meade will kick it from the 20. Good, strong kick. And wow, what a kick. Buckeye Local at about the 31-yard line. Zolads across the 50 and dives across the 45. We'll see where they spot him down inside the 45 at the 44-yard line of Indian Creek. So Buckeye Local gets the safety two points back, and they get great field position inside the 45-yard line of Indian Creek. So the Panthers in business. They had the ball fourth and one. They were stopped. They have another crack at it. Sure, their uh, offensive drives are taking up time, and uh, I believe Buckeye Local is going to be within one touchdown of Indian Creek. Uh, to have a shot. Handoff inside. McCain 
strong running. He drops the football. It's loose, but Indy, Indy Creek won't get it. It'll be Buckeye local. Looks like Tansmore, 77, who had the cramp, comes up with a recovery at the 42-yard line. Gosney come up from the secondary, made a big hit, hurt himself. Nice cool night. A lot of players cramping up on both sides. Gosney, beautiful tackle, jarred the ball loose. I think he just shook himself up on the hit. Cramped up again. Really a nice night for football, Bill, I'll tell you. Beautiful up and down the valley. A little surprising, a little surprising how many cramps have uh, taken place in the second uh, half here with these two clubs. Really not a uh, overly, no. uh, it's a nice cool night. Nice night for football. Game of the week, later on tonight. 11.30 after News 9 tonight. Caddis and Catholic Central from Harding Stadium. Caddis got a lot of weapons. Central looking to rebound. Straight ahead, McCain inside the 40-yard line of about the 39. I'll bring up third and about two and a half long three for Buckeye Local. Caddis last week came out with a 60-0 win over Sandy Valley in their opener. That's the team Caddis that went to the postseason last year. Steubenville Central had a, had a down year last year after going to the playoffs. And this year, they're trying to rebound. Last week, lost in their opener after they had the lead. Uh, Tusky Central came back, was able to, to get a win against uh, the Crusaders. So an interesting matchup later on tonight as we take a look at Markle bouncing off the tacklers and into the secondary for Indian Creek, and he's down to the 25 with a first down. A little misdirection inside handoff here on the counter. Good run, ran through two tackles. Good run by Merkel. Three tackles. Nice running. Another Indian Creek. As we take a look at the injured player, Coach, we're going to have to make a, a decision. Uh, we have our check for the sack each week. Kroger Food and Drug check for a sack. For each sack recorded by either team, Kroger will donate $50 to the OVAC. The question would be, do we consider the sack, or do we consider the safety a sack on Birch? It was a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it's a sack. It's not my money. Let's give it away. First one tonight. As long as we don't have to pay the $50, Krog will be more than happy to give that $50. All the money you got, you should be giving it. Oh, uh, yeah. Tim McCoy takes care of you. <laughs> Tell you what, Tim McCoy having a big uh, weekend uh, this weekend. Yeah, Last big, reunion. Big, big J.U. Yellow Jacket 1977 <laughs> reunion. Tim McCoy. Pitcher first baseman for the state runner-up J.U. baseball team. Hans Vicara won't let him play, though. Won't let him play Stoomville Legion because his hair was too long. <laughs> I've seen pictures. Yeah, it I've seen the, that. It he's, was on the longest side. Yes, he showed me, showed me his yearbook. His hair was far too long. Terry Smith on the carry. Nice balance drill from Smith as he keeps the legs turning, puts the right hand down, and picks up a couple extra yards. And that's one of the things I love to see because I used to hate that drill. But it works. You yes, go down, you put that hand down, and pick up a couple more yards. There's a reason for everything in coaching. Uh, repetition's the key, and uh, you never know when it's going to help. You know, right I can now. remember, you know, that I can remember Dwight Clark uh, uh, reading an article that he wrote in a magazine saying how they uh, practiced passes to the back of the end zone for the 49ers all that year, and he led up to the catch. Well, we'll find out if Terry Smith's balance drill leads up to a touchdown for Buckeye Local when we come back. Indian Creek on top in the, at the end of the third, 28-16. Back with more right after this. Once again, the people of the Ohio Valley voted Physical Therapy Associates best physical therapy in the area. We proudly accept the Reader's Choice Award and want to thank you for your confidence in us. When you need physical therapy, wouldn't you rather go to the best? 
physical therapy associates. It's more than a hospital. More than a hospital for you. Walking is the most natural exercise. The more physically active you get, the more fit you become. The Jefferson County Health Department wants you to know that walking tones muscles, maintains cardiovascular health, prevents osteoporosis, reduces stress, increases energy levels, improves self-image, and helps lower blood pressure and cholesterol. Plus, walking is inexpensive, safe, and easy. Pick up a distance walking chart from the Jefferson County Health Department and take the road to health. Walk it! Congratulations and good luck from all of us at Sterling's Auto Body. We're Allen Taylor Roofing, but don't let the name fool you. We're not just roofs. We're experts in making your home beautiful. Low monthly payments and your choice of plans. By the way, we still do roofs. Call today. 25% off winter pool covers, toys, and games. Now through September 6th. Now at Oliver Pool and Spa. Welcome back to the game of the week. 12 minutes to go. Bill Phillips along with the coach, Ray Suckosh. 28-16, Indian Creek on top. Buckeye Local has the ball after a free kick, after scoring a safety to cut it to 28-16. Bickerstaff wide open. He should get to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeye Local. The play has worked three times yes, for big sir. yardage. This time for a touchdown for Buckeye Local. And the Panthers, they're not going away. No, they're not. And uh, like I said several times this evening, uh, the Buckeye local Panthers have definitely taken on the uh, personality of their coach, uh, Tim Bain. No quitting him, no quitting his team. Third time they've run that play all three times for uh, big gains, and it's tough to defend. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Indian Creek, outstanding defense. Buckeye local just with a good offensive scheme. James will cut it to a five-point lead with the extra point. Snap down, kick up, and it is... Looked like it ricocheted off the upright and went through. So the extra point is good. And it's a five-point ball game, 28-23. to 23. Buckeye local, not going to go away. And we have another Indian Creek Redskin down on the field. Nick Lamatrice is cramped up again. As we take a look at the far sideline, Buckeye local supporters, they are very, very happy. Extra point attempt coach. I think it hits the upright and ricochets in. Mark Mosley, Needed Washington close. Redskins. Hey, Mark Mosley, he's the man. He is the man. He was my favorite kicker on the Washington He Redskins. used to boom him. Uh, this is the attitude that uh, Buckeye Local had to have coming into the game. Uh, be within a touchdown in the fourth quarter for a chance to win. Uh, but now the key is defensively. Can they stop this explosive offense of the Redskins? Uh, that's the key. Game comes down to one quarter. 11.54 to go. Five-point lead for Indian Creek. Two teams coming in. 1-0 and oh on the season. Buckeye Local put a ton of points on the board last week against New Philadelphia. Indian Creek, they came up a big winner in their opener as they put 20 on the board. So two teams that really, the offense is have really done the job tonight and it's going to be whose defense plays the best here in the fourth quarter. Big Nick Lamatrice coming off the field, laboring off. Oh, good sign down on the sideline, Coach. Take a look at the Indian Creek sideline. This is where uh, we look at uh, Buckeye Local lining up for kickoff. Dave Boyock, the running back from Indian Creek, is up and walking around a little bit on the sideline. And before, he was just sitting down. So that's good news to see him moving around a little bit. Oh, no question. Kickoff comes down. Lakino, he's going to take it at the 12-yard line. And he is still on his feet, but taken down. At the 22-yard line by the Buckeye Local Panthers. So Indian Creek takes over first and 10 from their own 22-yard line. Jason Rowe, number 31. Big specialty team hit there. One-on-one -on -one tackle. Rowe wins. 
We both and both in 22 yard line. Defensive stand here. This is a big possession here. Will Indian Creek respond or will Buckeye Local look to take charge here? And off inside, nothing doing. The Panthers swarm to the football on first down. Loss of two on the play. On the bottom of the pile, Tansmore, number 77, jumps up. And the Panthers really seem to have momentum on their side after the safety. And then the uh, drive that led to the touchdown. Prior to the game, uh, both coaches felt that the game would be decided in the fourth quarter. Both felt good about their teams. Let's see who's better conditioned here. Purge the pass. Three-step drop. Looks for Gosney. Incomplete. In and out of his hands. And it'll bring a third down. And right now, Buckeye Local is fired up on the far side. Tim Bain, the head coach, pumps the fist. He's ready to go in his defense. Playing like a bunch of Wild Panthers right now, for lack of a better term. They are really swarming the football. Good coverage on that one, although Gosney had a chance to come up with that catch. See Tim Bain signaling to his defense, watch the pass. Third and 11. You can be short at Indian Creek if they throw the ball. They're going to have three receivers out. Look for Stacy here to go in motion. Well, they're going to isolate him on this side. There he goes, right Stacey there. Stacy in motion to the far side. Duncan's already over there. Merge the Stacey pass. Going to get some backside pressure. Throws across the middle. Caught. Oh, out my. Out of feet is Duncan. He has a first down. Breaks the tackle across midfield. Terry Stacy in a foot race with Duncan. Stacy Smith will knock out Duncan out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Big play from Brian Duncan all the way down to the 25-yard line. Oh, that's a backbreaker there. That's a backbreaker. I'll tell you, Robbie Burge made that happen. Rolled right. Didn't see what Burge did. Burge was under a little bit of pressure. Receivers recovered. Found his number three man, Duncan, on a drag. After that, Duncan made a heck of a run to the open Smith field. Making the tackle for Buckeye Local. First and 10 from the 26, and Coach Buckeye Local had him pinned, and it looked like they were going to get to Burge, and he was able to dump it off to Duncan. A big first down for Indian Creek. Hand off, Hammock inside the 20. Still fighting, close to the 15 yard line, and he'll be about... Well, I tell you, Indian Creek has a stable of running backs here. I like his hammock. You can see tight end over here to get end over unbalanced. I was going to say he's about a yard shift. short, but uh, he may have the first down. Uh, like the second effort right here. Well, I tell you, hammock running over people, but the offensive line just sealed the entire right side did, off. Did you see you just got some TV time? Who was that? Pumpkinhead. The Pumpkinhead. He's the man. Pumpkinhead down on the sideline, Keith Wilson. He's going with the beard. You won't recognize him this year. So if you're going to do any jack o lanterns in the shape of Pumpkinhead, you got to put the beard on. First down, Indian Creek. 10.39 to go, and Indian Creek has a first down. McCain is saying that he doesn't have the first down, but the official says my eyesight counts. He's the only one that counts. Down. And there's the Pumpkinhead. Look at, look at the Pumpkinhead. There it is. And Richard Carnahan. There they go. Stephen Rich, he's got the little goatee, scruffy something down there going on his chin. Looking good in their uh, TV9 jackets. Burge leads Zinni Creek up to the line of scrimmage. Redskins looking for some insurance as they lead it by five with 10.30 to go. Little shift to unbalance. Block and down Hammock has a wow. hole. He's off the tackler at the 10 yard line, leans ahead to the nine. Nothing fancy here, Bill. Just shifting that tight end over to an unbalanced set and playing power football. Right. Helmet on helmet, everybody down, kick out. Nobody's there to kick out. He's into the secondary. He runs hard. You gotta like this kid. Three Panthers to take him down, and right now Buckeye Local's going to take a timeout. 
the Buckeye local wants to talk things over. They know how crucial this stand is for themselves as they trail it 28-23 to with 9.55 to go. We'll take a timeout. Back with more from the fourth quarter right after this. time you need physical therapy, choose the best. Physical Therapy Associates. It's more than a hospital for physical you. Physical Therapy Associates. More than a hospital for you. Walking is the most natural exercise. The more physically active you get, the more fit you become. The Jefferson County Health Department wants you to know that walking tones muscles, maintains cardiovascular health, prevents osteoporosis, reduces stress, increases energy levels, improves self-image, and helps lower blood pressure and cholesterol. Plus, walking is inexpensive, safe, and easy. Pick up a distance walking chart from the Jefferson County Health Department and take the road to health. Walk it! We're Allen Taylor Roofing, but don't let the name fool you. We're not just roofs. We're experts in making your home beautiful. Low monthly payments and your choice of plans. By the way, we still do roofs. Call today. I know a place where you can become a world traveler, where everything from adventure to romance is right at your fingertips. It's the most incredible journey of all, the expansion of your mind. And to get started, you don't need to make a phone call or hop on a plane. You just need to come to your local library and pick up a book and let yourself be swept away. The more you visit your local library, the more you'll know about the world around you and about yourself. I've been doing a little thinking, Ohio Valley. Rosie, afternoon, sounds like a good idea. So, my friends at WTOV9 are moving me to 3. Remember, September 8th, watch me afternoons at 3, beginning September 8th, right here on WTOV9. Rosie moves to 3 p.m. beginning Monday, September 8th. to the WTOB9 High School Football Game of the Week. 28-23, Indian Creek on top. Fourth quarter, 9.55. Second and five from the nine-yard line for Indian Creek in Buckeye local territory. Stacy in motion for Indian Creek. Panthers looking for a stop. Birds will quarterback draw. He slips and falls down at the eight. He was one-on-one -on -one with Merkel. He tried to make a cut and slipped and fell down. Buckeye local, happy to see Birds lose his feet. And will bring up third and a long two. Well, from there, Buckeye Local defending it. Still got to make the plays. Birds lost his feet. Third and two. And this, this defensive stand is crucial for Buckeye Local. Right? They got to hold it. Let's see if Indian Creek runs the ball to the right side to line up a field goal. If they don't get the first down, they would go up by eight. And off Stacy, he's going to have the first down, and he'll be in the middle of the field as well. First down from Stacy at about the three-yard line. Indian Creek offensive line taking charge there. Got the first down that they needed. On the tackle for Buckeye local Joe Perry, number 24. As we take a look at Sam Fornsagdo down on the sideline. Clock stop, 9:09 after the first down. 28-23. They will wind the clock once the chains are set. First and goal from the three for Indian Creek to try and attack on some more points with five point lead. Standing high school football game tonight for both teams, Coach. And Creek trying to get some insurance. And off right. Stacy, he won't get there. Maybe a yard on the play. And over right formation, right for Indian Creek power football. Buckeye local there, defense interior making the play. Closing down, massive defensive players. Second and goal from the two. Clock moving, 8.15 to go in the quarter. Hammock, lone back in the backfield. Stacy Lucchino and Wings 
Aquino comes in motion to the near side. Hammock comes near side, bounces it outside, cuts it back, and he's just going to be short of the goal line. Nice play by the Panthers to come up and shut him down just inside the one. It looked like Hammock would get there, but he's wrapped up, and it'll bring up third and goal. Hammock going down, trying to reach the ball over. Hammock made a good decision there, he kicked the ball outside. Just quite couldn't get there. Half a yard. Third and goal from the one. Closer than that. Buckeye Local looking for a stand right here. Indian Creek trying to possibly put that nail in the coffin. Panthers trying to hold on. Hand off. Hammock. Untouched into the end zone. Touchdown Indian Creek. Impressive drive, Coach. Yes, it was. Indian Creek, and it all goes back. Big play on that drive. The dunk pass on third down that sprang Duncan all the way down the sideline from Burge, and it results in this touchdown run from Hammock. You see Hammock right there, excellent bit of running. He went six inches, but it was an excellent run. Kept his head up, saw there was nothing there. Stepped outside, beat the defense on the perimeter, six points. When you get when you defend Indian Creek week in and week out, you got to take away the big play. Buckeye Local hasn't been able to do that tonight. They're down 34-23. Burge looking to go for two. He has a man in and out of his hands. Incomplete. Justin Gosney, the intended receiver, and it hit him right in the chest. And it falls incomplete. But Indian Creek adds six points to their total. 34-23. They're up 11 with 7.20 to go in the ball game here at Kettlewell Stadium. Indian Creek Redskin cheerleaders who have had a busy night carrying their banners up and down the field. I'll tell you what, Coach, no one has left this stadium. Great crowd on hand. It's been an enjoyable ball game. Both squads have performed well. Indian Creek's defense has come up just a little bit bigger when they've had to against Buckeye Local's offense. Both teams have played their hearts out tonight. Right now, Indian Creek with an 11-point lead, but I know Buckeye Local thinks they've got 7.20 to go, and they're going to see what they can get done. Well, there's no quit in either team. They're going to play four quarters. No question about that. There you go. Rebroadcast of the Superville Bicentennial Parade Sunday at 1 in the afternoon. Coach, I know you're going to put a tape in and record that. That's one of those history events that uh, everyone wants to get a piece of. So if you're out there and you want to see the Bicentennial Parade, great parade, great job by a number of high school bands, uh, some fantastic floats. Uh, I was there with Kim Cabasco, Eric Miner with interviews and a lot of information uh, uh, that we learned at the Bicentennial Parade. A lot of fun. So if you want to catch that Sunday at 1 here on WTO 9 as Zolads picks up the ball on a kickoff. He's got some running room out across the 35. Down at about the 37 and that's where Buckeye Local will take over and they've got to do some business here coach in the fourth quarter. Hammick and McFarland on the stop. Buckeye Local got seven minutes. They need two touches. How difficult is it here when time becomes a factor you're down all of a sudden you may have to put the ball up in the air to go from that tough ground game that churns up the yards, but also as VTech swings it outside. This is how tough it is. Completion on first down across midfield. Zolad's out of bounds for first down. And they answer my question. Well, they're definitely they're definitely taking Buckeye Local out of their element now. Buckeye Local's gonna have to throw the football. Uh, whether they like to or not, they're gonna have to mix in a lot more passes uh, than runs, and, and they need a quick touch. There's no doubt about it. A lot of room given out there on the perimeter. Nice catch. Just playing safe. Shook a tackle there in the secondary. Indian Creek hustling down. <coughs> Indian Creek doesn't want to be too soft here in the perimeter. But make sure they catch the ball in front of you. That's got to be the attitude. And then make the tackle. Seven on one to go in the ball game, coach. 34-23. 
Is there somebody down over there, Bill? Just, we got F. Zolad's the receiver that made the catch down with a cramp in one or both legs. A reminder that at the end of the game, we'll be selecting our players of the game. We're a Donnelly scholarship, so I want you to start to think about your uh, players that you want to take a look at, possibly name as players of the game from Indian Creek and Buckeye Local. And we'll go from there, announcing that near the end of the game. It's always a tough choice, especially in a game like this when so many kids have contributed. Here's a look at what has happened tonight. 34 points on the board for Indian Creek, 23 for Buckeye Local. All started back in the first quarter. 70-yard touchdown run. Dave Boyack made it 7-0 for Indian Creek. Tim Merkel responded on a two-yard TD run, makes 7-7. Seven -seven. Second quarter, 60-yard drive. Big catch in that drive from to Brian by Brian Duncan from Burge. Then Justin Gauzy, a 21-yard touchdown reception, made it 14-7 in Indian Creek. Game would be tied up. Merkel with a two-yard TD run. Bickerstaff, one of those long inside runs inside the 10 yards, 10-yard line, setting that up. It was 14-14. And later in the second, Steve Heath on a one-yard run made it 21-14. Then Burge to Jeremy Stacy for 62 yards and a touchdown, 28-14. John Schultz responded with a safety for Buckeye Local. And Bickerstaff on the TD run as the pass, the pass goes incomplete. The intended receiver was Merkel. Bickerstaff makes it 28-23, but Indian Creek comes right back. Hammock with a touchdown, 34-23, and that's where we stand as Buckeye Local now has a second and 10 from the 43-yard line of Indian Creek with 6.55 to go in the ballgame. Both teams looking to get their second win of the season. That's where we are. Doing a good job building a great review of the game. Sam Point Sally, we're just going to play solid defense here with his squad. VTech to throw, plenty of time. Steps up in the pocket, may tuck it and run with it. Decides to throw, has a minute oh. out of his hands and incomplete. Would have been a tough catch, but you still got to catch it. Chad McFadden, the intended receiver, flag at the 10 yard line. We may have a penalty against Buckeye Local Orienting Creek downfield for a personal foul. We'll have to wait and see. He's away from the intended receiver. Indian Creek indicating that it'll go against Buckeye Local. Well, this is bad news for Buckeye Local if it's against them. we we'll put them in a dire straits here with the second and... Buckeye Local moving back, so it looks 25. like a push. Second and 20, wow. I didn't see what happened there, Bill Jew. Down at the 10, just beyond where McFadden was, about 5, 10 yards behind McFadden. There was some pushing and shoving going on, so a penalty goes against Buckeye Local. Now we have an ineligible downfield. Ineligible. It's a loss of down. Did he signal ineligible? Yeah. There you go. Loss of down there. Dire straits here. So I guess it was a double penalty. Wow. That ineligible and the, the, the receiver pushing downfield. And Indian Creek had the option. And they decided to take the ineligible 15 yards. VTech back to pass. We have another flag. It looks like it'll be a holding as VTech unloads incomplete. Intended receiver number 23. Pensroth. He wanted a flag on the coverage Vandeborn. It'll bring up fourth and long. A flag back at the 35, and I believe it's going to be a holding against Buckeye Local, and I would imagine Indian Creek may decline and force him into a fourth down situation. Oh, sure. Get the ball, eat the clock. Vandeborn running step for step with the Buckeye Local receiver. The Indian Creek press box wanted the, the uh, decline, and they got it. Everybody's coaching. Nice ball. Vanderborn playing through the receiver to the ball. Good defensive play. <laughs> VTech to punt. Indian Creek not taking any chances, moving their deep men up. And they don't want to take a chance on a possible fake. Right now, their enemy is the clock as much as it is Buckeye Local and any big plays that the Panthers would possibly make. VTech, the punter, is also the quarterback. 6.40 to go in the quarter. Straight up the elevator shaft. Short kick from VTech. It's going to bounce at the 35. 
everyone from Indian Creek gets away from it, and it'll be Buckeye Local downing the ball at the 33-yard line. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with more right after this. From WTOV TV, this is News 9 Now. Hi, I'm Donna Irvin, and here's making news this hour. A 22-year-old woman convicted of killing her newborn child has only one day left to spend with family and friends. Now, yesterday, the judge ruled to continue Lori McGuire's 10-year sentence. She pleaded to the court yesterday for a reduced sentence and probation, but was denied both. Now, she will report to prison this Monday. We'll have more news later. Autumn brings us high school football with all of its pageantry. But every touchdown and twirl of the baton brings us closer to cold, messy weather. No matter what the season brings, Schwartz Homes is committed to providing service, selection, and quality all inside the world's only climate-controlled indoor megastore. Practice makes perfect, and Schwartz scores big by being named the 1997 National Retailer of the Year. Come inside and see what it's all about. The Schwartz Homes Indoor Mega Store, New Philadelphia. We say yes, yes we can. It's a simple word that everyone understands. We say yes every day. It's a three-letter. Hi, I'm Steve Gillardi, President of Advanced Financial Savings Bank. And I'm Mark DeSantis, Vice President and Branch Manager. We are pleased to announce the location of our new branch. Look forward to us in spring 1998 in Wintersville, Ohio. We are expanding to serve our community better. At Advanced Financial Savings Bank, we say yes to you. A 10-year warranty. Most companies don't offer one at any price. But right now, when you buy any high-efficiency Train XL Series heat pump, you'll receive a 10-year parts and labor warranty free. Now that's a really big deal! For more information on train electric heat pumps, call Rally Heating and Cooling in Dillonville, 769-2738. Train heat pumps heat, cool, and save. It's hard to stop a train. And welcome back to the WTOB9 High School Football Game of the Week. Doppler Super 9000 scoreboard, 34-23 in Creek on top. Pitch, Aquino. Tries to get outside, strung out and taken down for a loss of about five on the play. Indian Creek just looking to run time here. Hold the ball, no mistakes in their territory. Don't give Buckeye Local any opportunities. Duncan split near side. Don't look for Indian Creek to put it in the air. Handoff. Hammock trying to get outside. He loses a few more yards back at the 25. In on the tackle, Merkel number 33. Also getting a piece of the action, Chuck Watson number 53. Same spot in the field right, right here after Buckeye Local scored earlier to come within five. Uh, same situation, third and long there. Robbie Burge rolled right and found Duncan on the drag across the middle for the big gainer and looks to be the backbreaker for Buckeye Local if things end up like this. Third and 19. Inside five minutes to play in the game. Burge to throw, looks downfield, has a man open. He just oh. overshoots it by about a yard. Brian Duncan, the intended receiver, VTech, the coverage for Buckeye Local. So Indian Creek will look to punt the football away on fourth and 19. So Buckeye Local's defense does the job there. Still down 11 points. A lot of work to do in 449, but a big return here. Could set them up. Second. 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 Buckeye local, one receiver deep. Nice, nice, nice kick punt. from Nick Mead. Taken at the 36. Good return. Running room to the outside for Buckeye local. Down to about the 40-yard line on the return. Nathan Kish, number 81. 
Well, Cal Oakland can't look to put a drive together. They need six and now. They need it now. Option down the line. VTech is going to keep, and he's going to be strung out all the way down on the stop. Matt Gould, number 54, along with number 34, Jason Taliani. Two active linebackers all evening, Gould and Taliani for Indian Creek. Two good ones. Stringing it out here at Dawn Zilla. And there's Gould closing. Pitch, Merkel Taliani. near side gets a block, but he's going to go out of bounds. Taliani again on the play. Consistent ball player throughout the evening defensively for Indian Creek. Along with Joe Hammock. Third and one. Time out down on the field. They're going to measure to see if Buckeye Local picked up the first down with 4-0-4 to go in the game. Pumpkinhead giving us a bird's eye view. in the backfield and that's going to be a penalty. Steve Heath came in and gave Bickerstaff a shot when he was down on one knee in the backfield and after the whistle had sounded so that's going to go as a penalty against Indian Creek and Heath just coming in to make the tackle and couldn't stop and laid the leather to Bickerstaff and that's going to cost Indian Creek 15 yards. Local with an opportunity here, 3.55 to go. VTech rolls, looking to throw into the end zone, has Bickerstaff, and it's in and out of his hands, hit his knees, and falls incomplete, and I guarantee he would tell you, should have latched onto that one. Oh, no question. Right there, right there, that's a play you got to make, and frustrating for the coaching staff and the quarterback. Good protection. Stepping up, delivering the pass. Stopped running. 34-23, 3.48 to go. Buckeye local down 10, trying to cut into the lead. Vitek, all kinds of time. He's running out of it, though. Hammock from behind. He's actually going to gain yardage, but Hammock came in and kept Vitek from throwing the football into the end zone. But a pickup of about three on the play. Clock continues to move. Yeah, he was dead set on running the ball or throwing the ball here. Pitch to the outside. Merkel gets away from one tackler. Can't get away from the rest. Matt Gould, 54. Gould and Taliani consistently all evening. Bouillac left the game and those two linebackers really picked up the slack. Indian Creek offense has been explosive, but boy, your defense has played well. Down on the sideline for Indian Creek while we have a timeout. Looking at the uh, golf cart down at the Buckeye local end zone side of the sideline. 
Justin Gosney uh, is going to be helped off the field. It looked like he had cramped up on the far side after the extra point conversion uh, that Indian Creek attempted on the last touchdown, but apparently the uh, injury more down around the ankle and apparently not a cramp at all as they have the ice bag and the doctor's checking him out, so he's going to be carted off the field as we take a look at him. We hope he's okay. But he came off, managed to get off the field under his own power, but apparently more than just a cramp, so... Uh, we hope that Justin Gosney is okay and he'll be back and ready to play next week. But uh, that is not a good sign. Two key to players out for Indian Creek. Gosney and... Fourth and Boyard. seven. Vitek, cross the middle, incomplete. That may be your ball game right there as Buckeye Local can't convert on fourth down with 3-12 to go and trailing by 11 points. Taliani, first one off the field. Beat that little semi roll right. Time to throw. Indian Creek had people everywhere. Nobody was open. Burge comes in, number four for Indian Creek with the play from the sideline. 3-12 to go. I guarantee it's going to be a run. And they're going to try to work the clock down as best they can, try to run it out. Not allow Buckeye Local to get another opportunity to touch the football. Well, I tell you, these players of the game getting tougher and tougher to pick, man. So many good players playing tonight. So many top efforts by high school kids. Hammock in the backfield. He's going to be spun down at the 5 or to 10-yard line. Loss of about three on the play. And, Coach, since you bring up the players of the game, we put our heads together and... Normally we'd come up with nothing, but tonight we had a number of options. We couldn't go wrong. Many options tonight, I'll tell you. Players a lot of, of, lot of choices on each side of the ball. I think we're going to go defense with Indian Creek. Taliani, the linebacker, Indian Creek player of the game, Red Donnelly scholarship winner, and Bickerstaff from Buckeye Local. A number of big runs that helped set up touchdowns, and then he put one in himself here in the fourth quarter that cut it to a 28-23 lead, so we will select those two young men, and as you mentioned, Coach, a number of players could have been selected as Burge rolls out, steps through a tackle, off to the races, and maybe on a day when the knee wasn't wrapped up, he could have gone the distance, but here he's caught from behind and taken down at about the 29, but it's good enough for a first down. That's going to keep the clock moving for Indian Creek when they get their next opportunity to snap the ball, and right now we're inside two minutes and 20 seconds to go. There's the Pepsi scoreboard, Indian Creek Redskins. Clock running. Hard fought game. See vast improvement on both teams from week one to week two. Both teams got a lot to build on going into week three. Lakino <laughs> on the handoff. Nice run. That picked up about a yard. See what they got next week, Bill. Is that what you're looking for? That's what we're looking for. Next week for Indian Creek, Cleveland John Marshall comes to town. Home game for Indian Creek. They're third in a row. Actually, Indian Creek has their first six games at home before they have two road games at Weirton and Edison. And then Oakland at home, and they finish up on the road with East Liverpool. Well, you got to really like uh, Indian Creek's chances. Put together a big season. Um, I know I spoke to Sammy on this several occasions, and uh, he's really excited about this football team, and he has a lot of reason to be. He got a lot of weapons, and uh, his defense was outstanding, led by Taliani tonight. Let's take a look at the players of the game. You just mentioned one, Coach. There they are, Red Donnelly Scholarship winners for this evening. Scholarship in their names will be awarded to the schools. And two fine players tonight, two fine players year in, year out, and a uh, number of players worthy of that award but tonight. Those, that's the selection. We couldn't go wrong tonight, but so many good choices. No way. Um, I think Indian Creek has a lot of weapons on both sides of the ball. Buckeye Local playing with a lot of emotion tonight, a true extension of their coach and their coaching staff. They look good, and uh, they're going to be a good football team. There's no doubt about it. Delay of game against Indian Creek as they try to work the clock all the way down. Stops with 27 seconds to go. I mentioned Buckeye local schedule. They won against New Philadelphia on the road. Uh, second road game in a row for, against Indian Creek, and they're going to fall to one and one. Next week at home to Oakland, 
Then Cleveland, uh, John Hay comes into town on September 19th. Then it's East Liverpool at home. And then Buckeye Local travels to Brook. And they're at Martins Ferry, home to Buck Beaver Local. Then on the road to Edison. And finally, they finish up with Wheeling Park. So uh, two teams that uh, played very, very well. Tough competitive game tonight. And we will take a look at our check for a sack. One sack tonight, so $50 donated to Kroger Food and by the Kroger Food and Drug Company to the OVAC. $50 for the one sack. Our final score tonight as clock winds down. Any Creek, 34. Buckeye Local, 23. The Redskins improved to 2-0 on this young 1997 season, while Buckeye Local falls to 1-1. And Coach, two teams that I really think are going to do some damage all the way through this 1997 season. Oh, there's no question. I think each of their own. Uh, you got Indian Creek looking to go 10-0, make a solid run at the playoffs, and Buckeye Local, a vastly improved team, is going to get better. That wraps it up. We're going to say so long. From Kettlewell Stadium on the campus of Indian Creek High School. Indian Creek a winner tonight over the Buckeye Local Panthers. 34-23, your final score. I'm Bill Phillips for the coach and the rest of the WTOV9 gang. Good night. So long, everybody.